Hi, bud. How are you? How are you doing? Hello, Hannah. Good morning, Anna. It's only nine o'clock there where she is. She's, she's just wakey waking up. She's probably getting her coffee, right, Hannah? I got my coffee. Yes, I do. Got my coffee. I got my coffee. How are you? Hi, Ivy. Hello, my beautiful. Just write down some notes. Hi, Berkey. Maja, whoop, whoop. Yep, yep, yep. Brooklyn's in the building. Ivy's in the building. Bud's in the building. Hannah's in the building. Hello. Hi, Kim. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let me scroll back up. No, it won't. See? Yes, it will. No, it won't. Okay. Hello, hello. Come on in, everybody. Everybody. Grab your coffee. Backstreet Boys. Hi, Eastad. Good to see you. Please give me a thumbs up. How are you guys? We're going to have a little topic today about anxiety and stress and whew, mental health, right? It's always a good one. It's always a good one. Nobody has to talk in the chat and if you don't want to get personal, you don't have to. Hi, Kim Smith. So nice to see you. Kim Smith's in the building. Hello, and welcome to Maja's stream, Mayhem and Miracles. Uh, viewer discretion is advised, 18 and over. Maja never knows what she's going to say. Um, uh, we're going to talk. We'll wait till some more people come in. I think this would be a good topic. We don't have to talk about it on the whole stream, but certainly something we need to um, address. It's It affects everybody, doesn't it? Don't we know? Don't we know, right? East Dad says, hello, Brooklyn Chip. There's Jake. Hi, Jake. Almost in America's in the building. Good stream, buddy. Good stream. Really good stream. Yep. And uh, community tabs do work, guys, as we found out last night. Um. Because, you know, when I see that people are live, I put it on the community tab and this is how we can help support each other, right? So there was people that went live last night and we popped on over, had a conversation going. It was really good. Oh, good. I know where I get my panic attacks from. Yes. Yes. Let's talk about it, Brooklyn. Let's talk about it. Um, panic attacks are a real, real thing with a lot of people. Um, I'm very good at hiding my anxiety. I'm really good at it. Trust me. <laughs> Um, I'll just talk a little bit about myself for a minute. Um, hello, Samurai. How are you doing? Long time no see. Samurai's in the building. Hello, hello. What's up, chat? Um, please give the host a thumbs up. 12,000 in the building. Six thumbs up. Please hit it. People smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Hello, Savage Batman. Um, with me, with what gets my anxiety going or my heart racing is maybe somebody slamming a door. It can be by accident, of course, slamming something, somebody yelling. Um, I don't like huge crowds. I go into Walmart and I'm like, ugh, which is why I like shopping early. I, I just get overwhelmed. Um, lighting hurts my eyes. My reaction is different when I walk into a store and the lighting's there, but there's a lot of different things that uh, get my heart racing. Sometimes it's your intuition kicking in, telling you something's about to happen. That's a part of an anxiety with me as well. I'm an impasse, so, you know, sometimes I see stuff before it happens. Um, but with my me, my heart starts racing. It's an indication there's something going on, something's going to come down, or something has just, just happened in front of me, right? Uh, <clears throat> and the heart gets racing, and then you know what happens when our heart gets racing, right? It's crazy. Hello, Savage Batman. Much love to everyone. Thank you, bud. <coughs> a little sorry. I'm sorry, guys. A little bit under the weather, but I'm good. Okay. Feel better, Samurai. Feel better. 12,000. Dang. Yes, I know. Eh? That's, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, I liked and shared. Thank you, Batman. Appreciate that. I appreciate it. Savage Batman. Hi. How you been, Eastad? Hope all is well. Hold on a minute. Somebody has. Uh, um, well, I thought they did. Okay. His father and like son messaged me. Um, so my kids are camping, guys, as you know, they're having a good time. 
Uh, Banshee's in the building. Hello, Banshee. Yes, hello, hello. <clears throat> and this coffee is sponsored by PPR, Professional Paranormal Research. Cheers to you. Oh, he's just in the building. <laughs> hello, this coffee is sponsored by Professional Paranormal. I, I didn't even see him come in when I said that. Hello, Professional Paranormal Research. And this coffee is also sponsored by the Bud Files. Amazing families, amazing channels. Hello, hello. Every day I'll do a sponsor with my coffee for somebody. Today's Professional Paranormal Research and the Bud Files channel. Cheers to you. Maj is having her coffee. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Uh, does anybody have anxiety? I never complain, Brooklyn. I just keep maintaining. That's right. I appreciate you coming. Oh, you're welcome, Batman. We had a good time there, buddy. We had a good time in there last night. Uh, community tabs do work, guys, because, you know, people go live and we share them out. Hi, Adrian. It's so good to see you. Adrian's in the building, everybody. Say hello to Adrian. Back, backwood small engines. Hello. Uh, watch my community cat tab, guys. Your name's going to be there. And the community tabs do work because last night, um, we had two or three people show up in Savage Batman's live to help show him support. We kept the chat going. It was really good. He didn't see some of my questions um, in the chat, but yeah, we kept her going. It was great. Uh, got you on new channel, Brooklyn. Awesome. Too cool for Banji. Hi, PPR. Backwards says, hello, Brooklyn. Files, hello. Savage Batman says, I may try to go live again today. It may be 3 or 3.30 today. Cool. Let us know. Backwards says, hey, Hannah. Banji says, Savage. Good day. Let talk. Boya's in the building. Love that name. Hello. Uh, yes, we do know Yankee Kyle, and it is his birthday today. Happy birthday to Yankee Kyle. It's his birthday today, guys. Uh, too cool for Ban uh, Banshee. Hello from Adrian. Hi, everyone from PPR. Hannah says backwards. Hello. Jake Homeless says hi, Ivy. Hey, Kim. Savage is all text Hannah. Yep. Professional paranormal research. Uh, hello from backwards. Uh, last time I got panic attack, I ended up in the hospital. Doc says a walk outside calms me down. He was right. Yes, Brooklyn. Very good. Um, no, I didn't, Hannah. I didn't see it, sweetie. Reread it. It's true, guys. Taking a walk or putting on calm music can help. What helps you guys? What calms you down? Is it a phone call to somebody? Uh, you know, their soothing voice and their words can calm you down. Is it music? Is it like Brooklyn said, go for a walk? What does anxiety look like to you guys and how do you handle it? Uh, backwards says, Hey, homeless backwards says, hi, Ivy says, hello, backwards. Latoya says, uh, Foreman is live. Hello. Brooklyn says, happy birthday. Yankee. Latoya says, yes, Ivy. Happy birthday. Kyle music. Yes. I agree with you, Kim. Music is amazing. Uh, music is amazing. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that put vids out there and I'll tell you, I don't know how they do it, but they just, sh just like UK medic. Here's an example. He just did a vid. If anybody hasn't watched it, go watch it. He did a vid of beautiful sceneries and ducks in the water with their babies. And the music was just so calming. It was perfect for the environment. I actually had to play it twice because the music was just so calming. Music calms me down. Yes, it does. Uh, Yankee, hello. Eastad says, uh, funny how things and people change based on opinions such as life. Yes. Yes. It's whatever works for you, right, Eastad? Whatever works. I've been getting... Lots of panic attacks last few days and lots of stress. Yes. What do you do to do to fix it, Hannah? What do you do? What, what works? Panic attack is serious, not a joke. That's right. It's not a joke. It's serious. Like somebody could be having one out in public. You got to know how to address them, right? The best thing you can do, if I was feeling overwhelmed, I would want the person just to be talk very slow to me and calm and ask me to listen to their voice. Stay focused on that person and not what's going on in your surroundings. You know, because it's sometimes it is our surroundings that's causing it, right? Uh, Savage Batman, hello. It was a great video. I just watched it. Yes, it was. I love it. I love the music. Adrian says, hey, Brooklyn Chicks says backwards. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, backwards from Jake. Homeless. Uh, too cool for Benji says, Adrian. Um, so to share just a little, I suffer from PTSD, anxiety, and stress due to an ongoing injury drop foot. Yes, that can cause it. an injury, guys. <clears throat> an injury. Falling off to be and more to list, but changed my life. Went through a lot of depression for two and a half years recently. I'm taking my healthy mental, but always knowing, yes. Uh, an injury, guys, can also cause problems with your mental health and also give you anxiety. We know what PTS can do, right? And it is just good morning, Masha. Good morning, Anita. It is so good to see you. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I went for a walk to calm down. Yes. You go for a walk. You put on calm music. I got to take meds for it. I swear. I sweat. 
and shake like crazy. Yes, that is the extreme of it. Uh, one of the things, um, so I think we can talk a little bit about triggers too, guys. What triggers your anxiety? Do you know what your triggers are? Like, do you know what upsets you? Is it a door banging, somebody next door to you fighting? Um, bad news, bad news or the loss of a pet or a loved one can, can raise it right up. Mine was at its peak when I had to put my Molly down July 31st and I'm still not okay with that. I have my days uh, a couple of weeks back. I couldn't even do lives. That's the truth. I could not even get the camera on crying all day, crying while I'm walking Jake. Cause that's where we walked her. I go through a lot of these crying things, right? Hello, heat my shorts. I need a high. I have anxiety, but social anxiety is my worst. Yes, and that is very common backwards, the, the anxiety with the, I don't like big crowds. My daughter and I try to start a Christmas shop and usually the end of October, November-ish, and we try to have it all done weeks before Christmas because I can't deal with the lighting. I can't deal with the crowds. I can't think of what I want. When you go way before, if you can, you have more time to think. It's a little calmer. You can look at stuff and you know what I mean? And the last thing we do is the stocking stuff or things, which we do last. We buy all the candies and stuff last. You know what I mean? So there's ways, if you know what your psyche is about and understand yourself, then try to do things earlier. I prefer to shop in the grocery stores first thing in the morning or about an hour before they close because there's nobody in there. I have one right next door to me. There's nobody in there. I, I Like I'm still being COVID protection, right? Uh, meditation and good support, but I've been rambling, but that's, uh, used to share. Yes. That's good to ramble. Yes. Uh, backwards says, hello, Anita. It's, it's a real thing, guys. Honestly, I can't tell you how I deal with anxiety, but I can do dramas. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes being in a drama channel can cause your anxiety to, to increase or somebody, you know, being not nice to you. Great to see you all. Hi everyone. Hi rock your colors. How are you doing? Thank you for the hearts who's ever given them. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Hi, Anita. It's it's Tam Tam. How are you? Yes. Now I know Tam Tam's connected with Rocky. Now that I know that. Yes. Um, backwards. Much love from Bud. Uh, M Bar. Hi, M Bar. It's good to it's good to be around people who understand what I'm going through. Um, it really is, guys. Listen. Um, you know, I've hello, Kaz. I've uh, talked about this before, and I can't tell you guys where to go. I don't want to tell you guys what to do, but I've witnessed, and you guys know this, a lot of you guys know this, it's not small talk, it's not Maja's repeating herself again, or here we go again, but listen, being involved with drama channels or involving yourself in drama channels will raise and increase your anxiety. We know this, people. So try to try not to involve yourself. Like, seriously, try not to get involved. I, I try to stay mediocre. I don't get in the middle of people's battles. I don't have issues with anybody. I don't want issues with anybody. Um, it's not my rodeo, my, not my saddle, not my horse. I ain't going to ride it. And I have to keep telling myself because sometimes I do want to get in there like a dirty sock and say, hey, wait a minute here. Just wait a minute. But uh -uh, silence is golden. Hi, Tam Tam. I'm not doing good today, uh, but I had a good day yesterday. How are you? Uh, I need a hug. Hugs, everybody, for Anita Sweet, please, and thank you. Hugs, hugs for Anita, hugs for Anita. Hey, darling, how are you? Good to see you, Rocky. Rock your colors. Brooklyn, she says, Maja, you got two likes from me. Oh, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. Uh, PTSD, guys, is a real thing, and you cannot have it one day and then all of a sudden go through something traumatic, uh, whether it's an accident, a uh, loss of a loved one, uh, your profession that you were in, your job can also cause anxiety. Uh, and then just one day have it, you know. I withdraw when drama starts. Yes, good idea, Embar. Good idea. Uh, hugs, Anita. Yes, hugs for Anita. Absolutely, guys. Hugs, hugs, hugs for everybody. Um, it's a real thing, guys. And we never know what somebody's going through unless they actually come in the chat and say, listen, I'm really struggling today. And I have those days where I'm just feeling really sad. And I, and I don't have any reason to be feeling sad. Trust me. I've got amazing kids, a beautiful granddaughter. Uh, my life's good. But we have these little things sometimes that creep in. Hello, Ivy. Uh, they creep in and uh, they just make us feel a little off. And sometimes, guys, it's a health issue. It can be your thyroid that's off that can cause these things as well. Make sure you're getting your blood work done. Don't just let them check off what they want, what they assume. You have the authority of yourself to tell your doctor, I want everything checked. I want my thyroid checked. I want my red cells checked. I want my white cells checked. Everything. 
right? I am on an anxiety pill that I take once a day. And um, I find there's a difference when I'm not on them. I'm a little bit extra anxious, right? So it's okay to take meds to help yourself, right? Shadow Ops says, morning. Hello, hello. Keep my short Steve says, hi, Ivy. Oh, so yes, it is a real thing, guys. And you know, it, and sometimes we can cause our own stress. How do you do that? You know, just by involving yourself in the wrong things. Sometimes you think you're doing a good thing and you're really not. You're only hindering your own health. You're hindering your own mental health, right? Uh, great people in here. Love your channel, Maja. Thank you, Rock Your Collars. I appreciate you being here. You are what makes my channel fabulous. All of you guys have a wonderful day, everyone. All righty, Stad, take care. Embar says group hug. Yes, group hugs are great, Embar, aren't they? This is positive, guys. This is what I'd like to see in all the channels, people coming together and being kind and not being parasites. And there he is. I was talking about you, Medic. The real deal. Um, I'm going to repeat myself because Medic's actually here to hear me say it. Uh, we were talking about how music can soothe the soul, soul. And I don't think I know one person that can't say music doesn't change their their psyche and calm them down, right? So I got a notification that, that Medic did a beautiful... Um, uh, a short vid, right? And uh, it was showing some beautiful, the scenery is gorgeous there, but he brings, he rocks his world to ours. He brings his world to ours as many of you do. And I see these, these little duckies and their babies. Well, everybody knows when we see duckies and their babies, it's like, oh my God. And the music that UK medic chose couldn't have been more perfect. I actually went back and replayed it and did it twice because I liked the music. It actually calmed me down because I have anxiety. You guys can tell that I'm anxious by the way I talk, right? And the music for the, that vid was just absolutely spot dead on for what we were visualizing in his video. And uh, music is powerful. And that just calmed me right now. So yes, music does work, people. It does. Uh, both my parents passed within four months, 2018. Sorry, I missed that. Please rewrite it. I won't let me see. Some days it'll let me scroll up and other days it won't. Ooh, please rewrite that. Hello, corner. <clears throat> you can manic does a great job on his videos. Yes, he does. Uh, Tam, sorry, you lost both of your parents. Yes, that Tam, that's rough. Uh, I always uh, take a, a, a lot of trouble over the music I use in my in videos. Yes. I always take a lot of trouble over the music. Yes, absolutely. Yep. Uh, backwards says corner clubhouse. Hello. Much love. Thank you, Eric. Um, multitasking and not ignoring people. Yes. Yeah. And like I had said earlier, this coffee is sponsored by professional paranormal research and the bud files family. Cheers. So, um, you got to know your triggers, right? People. Max says, thank you, Eric. Um, Corner says, hi, Ivy. How you doing today, Corner? Good to see you. Reach out for comfort. That's right. Hi, Taylor from Corner. Bud says, cheers. Anita says, nice mug. Yeah, it's actually a Tim Hortons mug. I have a whole bunch of mugs. A lot of them are at my daughter's. I'll bring them home. And I'm going to also show you guys. This is one of them. Uh, I collect Timmy mugs. Um, I'm going to get my stuff from my daughter's. I have some stuff in boxes in a, in a, in a closet at her place. Anybody that's watched my Tim Hortons vid, that was the very, very first Tim Hortons vid in this city that I live in, the very first ever to open. And I have a lot of the stuff that you guys have seen in the showcase, and I will be showing you. I've got the cups, the saucers, the teapot, the stuff they'll never make again, or antique. Um, I'm thinking at some point I might do a dono and pick somebody's name. And, uh, you know, if you want to appreciate it and have it, then I'll be sending some stuff out. But I'm going to show you guys in a live the Tim Horton stuff I do have. This is one of the mugs. I have the other one that you guys see me drinking out of. Um, yeah, so... Thank you. And Barsis, cheers. Hey, Cobalt from Savage Batman. Uh, me message you directly, UK Medic. Uh, if you have not watched that early morning uh, missed video, Masha, you will love the music and that. I just did. Yes, I did. I left you a comment. That the one with the duckies and the little babies? Medic, I watched it twice. I left a comment. Unless it's the one I missed one before that. Cool, too cool for... For Benji says, cheers. Corner says, hi, Savage Batman. Rock your color says, Tim Hortons. Yes, they know about Tim Hortons. Maja, can I drop Tantrum's link? Absolutely, Ivy. Of course, you don't got to ask me. Yes, absolutely. Drop the link and drop your husband's as well. Yes, yes. Let's do this. I can walk 
two, three Timmy's from my place. That is awesome. We have one in every corner here. Rock, colors. Yep, we do. Uh, no, it's a drone video and it's way back. Okay, I'll watch it. So I've missed you then, Medic. Yep, thank you for that. Can you have a, a burnt tree mug for... Can you have a burnt tree mug for Australia? What's that mean? Can I have a burnt... What's that mean, Banshee? Uh, corner says, and you. Yes. Uh, hello, Medic, Ivy. Uh, rock your colors and savage Batman medic says, Hey, M bar rock your colors says M bar. Thanks for subbing to me. Way to go. There it is. There's rock your colors. Um, Ivy, you don't have to ask me, just do it, sweetie. Just do it. M bar says you're welcome. Um, so yeah, guys, so music is one thing, right? Jobs can stress you out as well. What do you do on the job? You take that half hour while you're on your lunch to go sit in your vehicle and chill out, calm down, put some music on. What do you do? What do you do when you got stress, you know, on your job or in your family or, you know, um, T rep adventures. Hello, just a quick visit. I will stay longer next time. Hello. all. hi. Thank you so much for coming in. Hello. Hello. How are you doing adventures? Uh, there you go. That's Ivy's husband's link guys. Please help rich grow his channel. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. Manic. You want to put Ivy's link down? They say not to put your own link down. I'm not sure guys, but yeah, just, I want to make sure everybody gets their links down. Right. Uh, hello from, all from hi hiya awesome hello hello and welcome thank you ivy and maja you're welcome colors uh means australia is burning oh yeah 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 you guys had fires we had some too here bc and quebec and oh my god i mean the smoke was going to the states it was crazy the fires this year were just crazy they got to come up with something like can they not send bombers up and on these days they know it's going to be extremely hot and two or three days before start bombing these big forest here. I know it's costly, but it's worth it. Right. And soak these trees in the land. To just to, I don't know. I don't know. I, I always think there's a quick fix to everything, but it's all about money. They don't want to spend the money. Right. Tam Tam's channel is a lot of fun. Make sure you sub. Yes. Uh, thanks Ivy. Uh, thanks medic. Um, yeah, fires are bad, man. Fires are bad, but yeah, PTSD guys, it's a real, real thing with a lot of people. It really is. There's, there's triggers that, um, you know, they get us going, they get the heartbeat racing and, you know, sometimes you can't leave the house, you know, but what I say is try to, um, try to reach out, right? Uh, just connected to Tam Tam, way to go, Batman, yes, yes, welcome to the 17 billion in the building, please give me a thumbs up, the world is burning, it really is, we're getting fires, huge, they, they lost so much land here with our BC fires in Quebec, it was phenomenal, it was just awful. And all this stuff going on around the world, it's, I can't even watch that stuff. It's on every channel here. I can't watch it. I can't watch people bombing people's houses, taking out people's lives. It stresses me out. My heart rate goes up, and I, I just can't watch it. I can't. It just gives me anxiety. It, it, it's too much what people are doing to each other. You know, show me the love. Where is the love? You know what I mean? Like, ugh. I connect it. To you all, much love. Thank you, bud. Uh, Rock, much love. Shadow, much love, fam. Sub to you, Ivy. Way to go, Banshee. Way to go. Um, yeah, where's the love, guys? Where's the compassion? What is happening? You know, what is happening? I'm still seeing extreme shoppers here since the vid happened. And it's extreme, extreme, because people are almost like waiting for the next thing to happen and things to shut down. And you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, Tam, from Batman. Um, you know, people are still panic shopping and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's just, and we have, um, we have, um, what do you call it? Uh, where you can order your groceries and they come to your door. We have so many of those here. So if you can't leave your house, you can order anything you want, comes to your door. You can leave, uh, add a tip onto it, guys. And, uh, um, oh my God, what do you call it? Oh, it's not hitting me right now. Um, homeless says, T-Rep, Anita, I'll send prayers for you. Hope to see you soon. Yes, absolutely. Prayers for Anita. You take care. Uh, much love to you all. Yep. Thank you, Banshee. I appreciate that. I'm way too emotional in general. Uh, I think all too much for me. 
I'm like that. I am an emotional person. I started talking about my Molly yesterday and I had to literally get up and get a bottle of water. I knew, I knew. So I just removed myself for a few seconds. I'm like, I don't want to be bald again. You guys just see me bald my eyes out. Jesus. I'm a real person. I'm very emotional. I find the older I get, Jesus, I'll be watching something. And I'm like, on the, I'm like, Oh, jeepers in general. True. All too much for me. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm back. I'm jumping back and forth between this and another live stream. No worries, homeless. No worries, Embar. Good to see you. Um, yeah, emotions are, uh, are, they're a real thing. They're they are really a real thing, right? Um, silence can also affect your PTSD or your anxiety. Too much silence. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, every, everybody's got their, their triggers that um, can affect them. And um, like even YouTube can be a bad thing in a, in a a lot of ways if you're not going to the right channels or um supporting the right people depending on your lifestyle your psyche what you're about um you know that can play a role in your anxiety parasites that just want to badger you and attack you because they're jealous or whatever it is whatever that's <laughs> the real deal right um welcome back homeless in america hello versa colors in the building hey maja and chat sorry i'm late i didn't get the notification no worries no worries uh ivy can we drop uh, versa colors some um, link please it's a new channel please help out please subscribe go connect um Versa Ops, uh, hi, Ivy, put down Kara Be Beanie, Versa Colors link, please. Uh, just need to focus on what we can control. Keep laughing, singing, and playing like kids. Life is shorter than it used to be. That is so true. Be a kid, guys. Have fun. Embrace the outdoors. It's there for you to enjoy. There's beautiful trees. I mean, so many channels bring us their world. You know, scenery. Go for a walk. Go watch kids playing in a park. Well, that sounds weird. Go watch a family just walking and enjoying life and embracing the little birds that they see out there and the trees and the leaves. And this time of year is fall, so our leaves are changing into some beautiful, beautiful orange and red colors. Uh, big movie fan, how you doing? How's it going today? Mayhem, it is good. Uh, uh, have you been attracted to water lately? Maybe it's a uh, change in life. I've always liked the water. I'm a Pisces sign. Um, anything to do with the water. My kids are camping right now. I wish that I was with them. I really do. Because when they're in a cottage, when I'm, when I'm with them, I'm videoing them at the dock or wherever they are fishing. Uh, when it's a hot, sunny day, I'm in the water, way on the other side, waving to them. Hi, uh, I love the water. I want to go on a cruise someday. Might never happen, you know, cause you know, it'll, it'll cost money, but, um, um, Water is very calming. And also, as we know, it can be very, very deadly, right? So I went on a couple of this year. Yes, it's very good for your psyche, man. Embrace the outdoors, people. Do you have a nice park to you? A nice walk thing? Walk path you can go to? You know what I mean? We have, a, what, five or six waterfall things here. Maybe I'll do a vid on them. Not this year because now they're starting to dry up. But um, we've got waterfalls here. They're absolutely stunning. Maybe I'll do a live and uh, bring you, you guys to one of them. Uh, Nipa Fish saying hello. I'm from Haya's channel. Only have a few minutes before I have to leave. All right. Welcome in. Hello. Please give me a th thumbs up. Welcome. Hello. Hello to you. I'm doing all right. Just got back from a walk sharing you on my community. You already know I don't allow people under age 18. Some people will jump to conclusions. Yes. Big movie fan does clips of different movies. Guys, it's awesome. And I go over there and I watch the movies. I'm like, oh, my God. I remember that exact moment in that movie. It's so cool. So, yes, you have to be of age to watch her movies. Go over there and check it out. You're Aquarius. Yep, I'm a Pisces. Yep, we have a few Pisces. Well, Brooklyn's a Pisces. Uh, what do you guys want to say in the chat what you are? I am a March baby. M. Bar says, I love waterfalls. I'd love to see the Niagara Falls. Yeah, uh, it's not far from me. It's only 40 minutes. I've been there I don't know how many times. I love it. I'll never get sick of that place. We always stay at the same place. Um Actually, this time of year is beautiful there. I do want to go at Christmas because probably, I think it's November 1st, they start putting the, all the lights up. It's phenomenal. You guys got to see it. Maybe I'll do a live on it and take you guys there. It's just so calming and beautiful. It brings out the little kid in you because you start seeing all the little, the, the characters at Christmas and stuff and, and the lights and it's just stunning, people. It's stunning and I want to go this year. I really do. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll show you. Yes. Uh, Ivy says Gemini. Yep. Both my kids are Gemini. 
My son's June 17th and my daughter is June 18th. Uh, uh, First of color says, it's close to me as well. Maja, I have no excuse to not have seen it yet. Yes, try to get there. It's awesome. Do a, do a vid on it. Oh, my God. Do a vid. Oh, got a Capricorn in the building. That is awesome. Empire's a Capricorn. Uh, hello, Embar from NEP and Brooklyn says, be right back. Phone call. All right. Uh, I'm a Leo. Okay. we got a Leo in the building. Uh, thanks for understanding why you always hear the repeat about my channel. Other people just jump to conclusions. Yeah. Just let them, you know, if they show up and get rude or whatever, you just delete their, you can pretty well tell how people write in your chat, right. Or write on your, on your vid. You know what I'm saying? So we all know it's 18 and over. Obviously we don't want kids in our chat and I'm seeing that one particular 13 year old being allowed in a lot of people's channels and uh, people should do the research. Like I knew when I seen that kid, there's no way that kid's of age. You guys know who I'm talking about. Don't say his name in my chat, but yeah, he's like 13. Like seriously, he's begging for people to, you know, go over and jump on his bus. I'm like, no, you're a kid. What could you possibly have in common with me? You're a kid. You haven't even done life yet. Uh, Brooklyn says Maja did is a Pisces too. Yep. Didi's a Pisces too. Cool. Yes. Uh, Maja, do you know who Jimi Hendrix is? Yes, I do, Savage Batman. I wasn't really a fan of his music. I'm not into the real headbanging music. Um, I'm a Pisces. I've been writing poetry since I was in grade four. Um, I will be writing some stuff for my brother. He's going to be recording it. And um, I listen to the lyrics, but I also very play, pay close attention to the tune. And if it's really, really harsh i don't like it i've never liked like i don't like alice cooper for that there's two songs it is i do really like i do love prince foreigner i love a lot of acdc's music um and i listen to the words in a song right but yes i do know who jimmy hendrix is he was good though that guy was talented very 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 talented jojo's in the building hello jojo everybody say hi to jojo um they are. They are colors. They are. Everybody, my mods, be aware. Uh, if any parasites come in, please uh, make sure you report first, right? Because this is how we make YouTube accountable. Um, Purple Haze. Yes, yes, absolutely. Bud says Purple Haze was my favorite song. Yep. Hi, Jojo. Jojo says, hi, everyone. Jojo Dance Hill Vibes. I'm going to go in the kitchen. I haven't ate yet. Um, yep, I haven't ate yet. I've been busy. I was uh, mopping the floors today and you know, doing some stuff, I had to feed the fur babies and yep. Yep. So I got to eat. Um, welcome to 13 in the building. It's a little bit slower today, but that's okay. You only need one person in your chat guys. Savage Batman did a live last night and, uh, there's three or four of us that, uh, ended up going over there and supporting him is really good. We kept the chat going. Uh, it was nice. It was just, it's nice to show support because a lot of channels don't get that support, right? I listen to rock, but I listen to different Types of rock, like metal, alternative, and regular rock. Yeah. I like Rod Stewart, Bob Seeger, Foreigner, ACDC. Yes, Y-E-S. Um, I love ABBA. I like um, some of the Backstreet Boys. Eagles. Love the Eagles. Uh, oh, my God, it's endless. I like a lot of pop stuff, right? Um, correct, yes. Uh, Homeless in America says, hi, Nepa Fish. How you doing? I'm getting hungry. I'm starving. Uh, my watch hours went up from, I think, 24.3. I think it was 24.8. See you go. There you go. That's awesome. Uh, Nepa Fish saying hello, Jake. To go for Banji says 15. Uh, Ivy's Bud Chronicles. There you go. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go in the kitchen, see what I can eat. There is some fries and a piece of chicken left from yesterday because uh, we had Mary Brown's for dinner. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I, I'm not feeling soup today. And I've just been weird. I'm just like, what am I going to eat? What do I feel like eating? Ugh. What do I feel like eating? I love KD. I could make some of that, but uh, I don't know what I want to eat. I just, do I want something light? I don't know. Do I want something light? I don't know. Do I want something light? Let's see. Maybe a grilled cheese? I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do I want to eat? I don't feel like that neither. I don't know why I don't feel like that. Um, maybe some peanut butter and toast will, will cut it for me. Yep. The old Disney spells are coming. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yep. 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 Dizzy spells. Time to eat. There we go. Throw some toast in. Um, she doesn't have her glasses here. <laughs> 
Um, ah, uh, uh, be right back. I need to eat too. Yes. All right. Embar. Um, <clears throat> but Chronicles, did you catch the message the other day? Do you remember what videos on mine you commented on? Because I'm not ignoring you. I don't understand why it doesn't show the comments. Yeah. Uh, you are like me, not just one thing, a lot of everything. That's right. Jess is in the building. Hi, Maja. Just got home from dentist, but you want to stop by and say hello. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hi, hi. How are you? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to get my teeth fixed. Let me tell you, folks. Oh, my gosh. I would just love to get my teeth fixed. I would be happier to make a shit. Very expensive here, though, guys. Really expensive here. Yep. So, I mean, I got to wait a certain age to get everything free, right? Well, I ain't at that age yet. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so, what it is. But, yeah. Cleanings and stuff are free and stuff, but certainly not the work that I need, right? How did just, uh, sorry, Ivy says just how did it go? How did it go at the dentist? Uh, Bud says, I have no clue. Uh, in high tension from homeless, Rock Color says, Jess, to go for Angie, uh, sorry, to go for Angie says, Rocky, yes, I have that every day. Uh, Jess says, UK Medic, hi, love. Bud says, uh, I've commented on everyone's videos and connected it as it is being either deleted. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Yep, yep. I read my community chats, guys, and, uh, you know, if I have to, I delete stuff, but usually I don't. Um, but, yeah, the community chat's there to tell you who's live and or you can post that you're going to do a live. I don't usually give anybody a warning. I used to, but I will be doing a stream yard. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do it Saturday or Sunday, do a stream yard. And... Um, Has some folks up on my panel. Hi, Gemma. How are you doing? Just making some toast. Yeah, I'm just making some toast, and I'll probably have a piece of cheese. <laughs> yep. Um, peanut butter's on sale here right now, so. Um, I'm stocking up because I'm going to be making peanut butter cookies, peanut butter balls, coconut balls. I'm going to be doing some of that. I'll do some on a live. It's really easy to make, right? A lot of this stuff is a no-bake thing. And um, I'm just going to have some cheese because I love cheese. And it's dairy. And, uh, yeah, I just love my cheese. Hi, Gemma. How you doing? Hi, Homeless. From Gemma. Ivy says eight. 800 ibuprofen just unless you got something stronger. Yeah. I like a leave. I like a leave. Uh, I'm doing better today. Been going, doing chores in my apartment and had to buy something today. Uh, I will see you all later tonight for the autism special. Yes. Please just remind me. Jeff, Facebook, Jess. Oh my God. Somebody please remind me. Please remind me that Jess is going live later. I want to be there. Uh, Gemma. Um, if you got something coming up live, please let me know. Message me or find Maja. Please remind me, guys. I get forgetful. I do. I get forgetful. I need you guys to Facebook me and tell me. And I'll be there. And then what I do is I put it on my community tab. And then we get our peeps to go. I'll go over. Right? And support, support. So, yes, please, please remind me. I want to be there, Jess. I really do. Yes, I'd be happy to... Uh, more than happy to be in your chat and support. Yep, absolutely. Sorry, guys, coconut balls. Yeah, I'll be making some. Maybe tomorrow. Guys, I'll make some tomorrow. I'll got to make sure I have everything. Pretty sure I do. I'll make some on a live if you guys want to watch me do coconut balls. I melt I melt uh, chocolate and I I um, coat, the, coat the coconut balls. And then I add more coconut. And uh, sometimes I'll just do the white, and then I'll do some with the chocolate, like chocolate on it. I prefer the chocolate, and I also prefer homemade stuff opposed to store-bought. I'm not a big fan of store-bought stuff. I Not too often. Like, you'll see me the odd time. The odd time. I will eat one of these things, but I prefer fresh. I prefer... I prefer to make stuff and Christmas is coming. So what I do is I make tons of this stuff. I make lots, you'll see. And then I freeze it. And then Christmas comes, I start giving it out. Uh, there's a couple of neighbors here that I want to give them some baked goods. And of course my family and 
you know, you have a cup of tea and you have a nice little coconut ball or a peanut butter ball or a nice shortbread cookie. Shortbread cookies, I always use the real butter if you want a good cookie. Always use real butter. Always. Don't, don't, if you, if you can, if you can, but there's a big difference between butter and margarine, right? I, margarine wise, I like this, but I also like Basel. It's my favorite, but, um, also, um, you know, when you're baking, if you can use the real butter, like we got lots of this in the freezer and when it's on sale, we just we buy it, right? So yeah, try to use, if you can, it depends on your budget. Everybody's different. I get it. Right. You know? Um, but yeah, shortbread cookies. Um, I tried to skimp one time. There's a big difference, a huge difference from butter to margarine. So always, if you're doing a shortbread cookie, um, always, always use, um, always use butter. Right. All right. So I'm going to have a piece of cheese seven o'clock tonight. Cool. I will support much love. Thank you. Versicolor says, is that 7 PM Eastern? Is that 7 PM Eastern? Yes. Let's all be there. Well, I'll try and remember to hit you up because we will be there for sure. Yes, please. Ivy or Gemma or somebody hit me up. Hmm. At Jess, I am an autistic. Yes. Uh, Jess, meet Gemma. Um, somebody shared, somebody, I don't know what happened. Somebody sh told me about Gemma and I went over and I subscribed to her. Gemma does, um, uh, Gemma does panels guys. And she talks about what she has to endure every day. Gemma is autistic and oh my God, she is educating us people. I've learned so much from her. Maja, I had to buy a new cell phone today. My one is completely broken. Okay. I think that's what you tried to write and I missed it. It won't let me back up, sweetie. Oh, okay. You got a new phone. Very good, sweetie. Very good. Gregory. Hi, Gregory. How you doing? Uh, rock your colors. I don't spoil my grandkids with crap, but I sure do spoil them with baking. Yes. Homemade's the best. These things I do are really simple. I'm going to show you guys. I'll do a live. You guys can come along with me. I'll go in the kitchen. I'll make sure I have everything tonight. Pretty sure I do. Ivy, hello. Uh, Trish says real butter. Yes. Uh, Gregory says um, in Gregory. Hi, Gregory. Uh, Gemma, I think she left, but I actually told her about you. Awesome. Awesome. Doing good. Uh, not good. Hey, Ivy. Brandon's recovery is in the building. Hello, Brandon. Thank you, Ivy from Gemma. Uh, anybody that's not familiar with Gemma's channel, sorry, guys, but I got to eat. I'm eating peanut butter and toast. Hope it doesn't gross anybody out, but I got to eat. Um, anybody that doesn't know Gemma's channel, that girl has me, myself. She has educated me so much. I didn't understand. I do now know because of Gemma. I'm going to give her the credit for it. I have sensory issues, and I had no clue that word wasn't even in my vocabulary, sensory issues, until Gemma started talking about sensory issues and uh, what affects us when we're outdoors or indoors or whatever. It can be lighting, people, noise, crowds. It's endless. Somebody touching you when they shouldn't. Um, and I realized I got sensory issues. <laughs> and Gemma's the one that educated me on that. I'm like, wow, I got that. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, Gemma, for educating me. Um, I love that you're bringing your world to us and... Um, and don't ever stop, Gemma. Don't ever stop what you're doing. You are, you have a calling. You have a gift. You have a calling. And, um, and you know, you have so many good messages to educate us about. Like so many things that you can educate us about, right? Uh, Gregory, much love. I, it's hi, Brandon. What you up to? My channel is making 30 bad videos on my mod. What can I do? Okay, Gregory. Anybody want to help out, Gregory? Here's what I'm going to tell you to do, buddy. Ignore it. Okay, tell this person, ignore it. Don't do any black lashes. Don't do a vid on them doing a bad vid on you. The best thing is silence, Gregory. Tell this person, silence, report, report, report to YouTube. The more we keep reporting people, YouTube's going to come aboard and go, wow, and then block them. Okay, yes, I've made an in-depth video today, Masha. I'll be putting it up tomorrow. Okay, Jim, I got to get to your channel, sweetie. I've missed stuff. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, Gregory, don't, Gregory, don't pay any attention to it. Tell this person, report it, that he's being harassed. Push, push the button, harassment, bullying, right? Mm-hmm. Brandon says, hello, Gemma. That's right. Ignore and block like homeless in America said. That's right. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, welcome back, Savage. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Guys, don't ever just uh, block them. Report them. Right? If I get any parasites in here, we report first, then block. Don't just block. YouTube needs to be aware. They are paying attention to everybody's channel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know a channel the cops were watching their channel and a few others. That's a fact. Cops watch your channel, people. Yep, yeah, it's a fact. Trust you me. Never know who your family members are. Hi, Marky Mark. How you doing, Mark? How is Mark doing? Where did Mark go? Now it won't let me scroll up. I don't know why it does this. One day I can scroll up, the next day I can't. Mark, write something in the chat. Uh, Maj, if you can, I need you to check your messages real quick. Yes, I will do that right now, Ivy. Sorry, I'm doing it right now. Um, can we get, um, is, is, is Emma, sorry, Gemma's link been, uh, dropped? Ivy, would you like to drop Gemma's? Mm, he did a lot more than that too. And YouTube don't care. Yeah, they will start caring. Trust me. Cause YouTube was tra charged at one point. They got charged. They're not going to mess around at homeless and Amer and at Gemma journeys. Grace. Thanks. Yes. Tell them to ignore them. Gregory, tell them not to do a stream on them. Don't bring any attention to them. Block, sorry, report and then block. Okay, don't talk about it. Don't nothing, right? Because they want attention. They need us to be, keep them out there, right? Parasites have no lives. What good is it to YouTube to keep the parasites channels on YouTube? That's right. Mine is all legal content. That's right, bud. Marky Mark, there you go. Okay, there's Mark. Let me see if I can, it's probably not going to work for me today. I don't know why. Some days it works and some days it doesn't. See? Oh, maybe it will. Let me see. All right. Okay, Mark, can you say something, please? I'm doing great. That is awesome, Marky. Mark, the chairman says, how is everyone doing today? Hi, the chairman. What's up, Mark? How's your snake doing, buddy? I'm just eating some toast, guys. There it is. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm eating lunch right now. So am I, Marky Mark. I'm just having peanut butter and toast, buddy. Yep. Ivy says, hey, Chairman. Um, um, num, num, num. Who's in here? Who's the other mods? Can somebody drop Ivy? Let me, let me pick somebody. I don't want her in there five times, right? Um, uh, uh, Savage Batman, are you still in here? Can you drop Ivy's link for me? Hmm, that's good, Mark. He's got beautiful markings. Yeah, that's true, Jake. Yep, yeah, a lot of people are diagnosed when they're older, right? Mm-hmm. Rock your color says, hi, Brandon. I think YouTube should spend their time on the parasite. Yes, they should. Yes. But I, don't worry. They are watching. Don't worry. Yep. They're watching. And by the way, anybody's IP address can be found. It'll tell you what city they're doing it in, what where they're from. So then it'll break it down and you, you can go, oh, yeah, that person lives there. Trust me, IP addresses can be found, folks. <laughs> yep. Mm, yes, he does. That's right. Thank you, Batman. Can you do... Uh, there he is. Bruce Gas Boxing's in the building. Uh, Ivy, can you drop his link? Hi, Bruce Gas Boxing. How are you doing, sir and the fam? How are you doing? As Squirrel's Nest. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Nest. How are you doing? All parasites give you watch time. Yep. 
Yeah, but we don't need foul, nasty stuff written in the chat, so I don't allow that, right? All right, the chairman, even if you're using a VPN. Can you rewrite what you wrote before that, the chairman? I missed it. Yeah, everybody's got an IP address. It can be located, guys. It can. They tried to tell my mom when I was in preschool, but she refused to believe them or get me diagnosed. That's right. Yeah, a lot of parents don't want to. They're in denial, right? They don't want to accept that there might be something wrong, right? Total deni denial. Hey, Brooklyn Audits in the building. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? What's new with you, Brooklyn Audit? Good to see you. Ness says, I'm doing well. That is good. Homeless salute, bro, from uh, Bruce Gas Boxing. Mm. Brooklyn Audit, nice. Ivy has just put Bruce Gas Boxing's guys. Go get connected. Mm hmm. VPN, you can't find IP address. I can change to other states. What's that mean, Brooklyn? I'll educate me, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so they basically audit. They can do something where you can't figure out who they are. Mm -mm. Well, we know computers, when you delete stuff, it's still there. Yep, and I suffered because of it. I thought I was normal when I definitely wasn't. Well, you know what? Jake, you're very intelligent, dude. You you are very, very intelligent. You know, don't be hard on yourself. Uh, Brooklyn Audit said, good to see you, homeless in America. Uh, Savage Batman just put, um, here's Gregory's link. Thank you. Um, Bruce says, Gregory, thank you. Homeless says, yep. Uh, meaning instead of having my IP address to my house, I can have it in a different state with VPN so you you can track me. Wow, really? Wow. Why would you want to not have where you, the, the country you live in or city? You can have it in a different state. And that's interesting. VPN is virtually private network. You can change your location. Okay. All right, Gregory says, hello, Bruce Goss, Boxing, Jazz, and more. Anytime, bro. Look at that. Gregory's getting people jumping on his bus. Help each other out. I use VPN on my emails and my live streams. Okay. Cool. See, I don't have any reason to be a parasite to anybody. So I don't need, I just keep things as normal, right? Well, yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Gregory says, hello, Brooklyn Audit. Yes, you can change the location to anywhere you want. Can't can't be tracked. Okay. Hmm. That sucks. <laughs> Jake, you are very smart. Like, I don't know what your challenges are, but you are very smart. You are. You are. Seriously. Don't let that hold you back, buddy. Seriously. We all have our ailments. We really do. Hi, Unusual Pets. How are you doing? Welcome in. Please give the host a thumbs up. So you can't be tracked. Wow. So that would be a parasite that wants to do that then. They want to be parasites and then so you, they can't be tracked. But no, trust me, the cops can still find you. Trust you me. <laughs> I don't care. Mm -hmm. The chairman says, actually, you can be tracked even on a VPN. Yeah, I know of channels that ha were tracked and they thought they couldn't be tracked. Trust me. A VPN is good when you want to watch things that are restricted in other countries as well, like certain programs. Okay, yes. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. So they can't troll you. Heck yeah. Mm, maybe I need to learn to do that. Yeah. A lot of us are getting educated here, folks. I'm not big. I have 2,000 subscribers. You're doing good, Jake. You keep going, buddy. I wish good things for you. Can someone drop Brooklyn Audits link? Yes, we can. 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Sorry, guys. Savage Batman, thank you for that. I'll sub to you, brother. Drop the link. Yeah. Man, I need to be educated. Seriously. It's really good. I like that audit and you guys come in and we talk about this stuff, right? Uh, Brooklyn said, thanks for the shout out, Savage. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Look at Bruce just put in the chat, guys. Yeah, so I'm not educated on stuff like that. I use your old pets connected with you from Ivy. 104K subs. Good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, Brooklyn, I got to get back over to your channel, buddy. Ivy says Brooklyn audits. There you go. Just connected to Brooklyn. Way to go. I was already sub. Yeah, I'm already subscribed too. I'll double check. Make sure you double check, guys. Sometimes they take it away. Uh, thank you, Ivy. Um, mm, okay, so I had my peanut butter and toast. That was delicious. I hit the spot. Mm, sorry, guys. I have to eat. Mm. Um, uh, hold on, guys. A little. My daughter's little little Bella. <laughs> Look at her. She just come out of her little bed. Look, I'm babysitting her. Look at. <laughs> she wants grandma. Hold on a minute. She wants something. I'm not sure what it is. Hold on a sec. Hi, Val. Hi, baby. You want to have a drink? You need the drink, sweetie girl? Yes. Get a drink. There you go. Have a drink, sweetie. There you go. Have a drink. Yep. Have a drink, Val. Val. Where are you, Belle? Yep. Hold on, Belle. Belle, come here again, babe. Come here. Good girl. Yes, you wanted a drink. You thirsty? Yes, that little girl's thirsty. Yes. One sec, guys. What's the matter? You want to sit with the gams? Come here. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> sit her down with me. She's blind. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this little girl is blind. Yes, she is. It's Gammy's little girl, isn't it? Um, sorry, guys. <coughs> Every sub to you as well, Jake. Way to go. Connected to unusual pets. <coughs> I was like a minute behind LOL. Uh, thank you, Savage Batman. Brooklyn Odd says, thanks, Kabina. I I might do one in a couple of hours after work. Awesome. Uh, just showing my love here. Got to get back to work. Be safe, everyone. Take care, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, Unusual Pet says, be right back. Marky Mark says, I'll be in and out. I need to get back to work. No worries. Thank you, Homeless. You can get your link dropped. I'll sub to you. Yep, Homeless. Let's drop the link. Did we uh, drop Homeless's link, Batman? I know Brooklyn Audit. I followed the TA community for close to a year now. I know you and several others. That is awesome. That is awesome. There we go. Thanks, Versa Color. Did we get, yeah, we got Versa Color's link drop, guys. Everybody connect. You want to connect to somebody? Say so. We'll drop it. Ivy, check Facebook, please. Yes. Um, so, yes, please remind me about Jess and Gemma. I think they're both doing lives. Gemma, is it Thursday? Are you still taking a break? Uh, I go to homeless in America all the time. Good dude. Yes, he is a good dude. It's, um, thank you, Ivy, for the links. If I was a mod, I would, but I'm not. 
Um, thank you guys. I really, really, really appreciate, you know, everybody's support. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not a mod in a lot of channels, guys. It's not, uh, it's not a big deal. Trust me. Oh, there she is. I don't want to connect because I, I am don't want to. Hey, Maja, love you. <laughs> Beth. <laughs> Best be naughty. Oh, best be naughty. You keeping her out in the shed there, Beth? Homeless says, thank you, Beth. Bits and pieces. Let's get the link drop, Savage Batman. I was going to go live tonight, but after what happened Monday, I'm not. Yeah, Gemma's got threats, guys, um, on her channel. Somebody threatened her, so, of course, she reported it. And please know this, guys. Please do watch YouTube channels. I know it for a fact. Trust me when I say it. Uh, if people get bothered enough, the police do come in. Um, and they do monitor your channel and the other people's channels. So be mindful. Just hot, just subbed homeless in America. I got your brother from Brooklyn audit. Uh, thanks Bruce. I would still do it, Gemma. If you're up to it, sweetie, and you can do it, I would still do it. Seriously, sweetie. If you want, if not, just take a break. Chicken butts in the building. Hello, mayhem and miracles. hundred percent. Hi, chicken butt. How you doing? Please give me a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs up for the host. Had a rough day today. Sorry, I'm not normally grouchy. Oh, no worries, Beth. I'm sorry you had a bad day, sweetie. Mm. Hugs to Beth. Hugs, hugs, everybody to Beth. Homeless in America's Thanks, Brooklyn Audit. Or telling uh, Carabina says, Jake, I'll tell you who I am in private. Okay, bud. Uh, chicken butt, hello from Rocky. Homeless in America's Thanks, Brooklyn Teflon, Ivy says, chicken butt, hello. Uh, smash that like. That's right. Yeah, I'm still uh, trying to decide. It scared me. Yeah. That's what they want to do too, right, hon? They want to they want to freeze you. They want to halt you, honey. They want to halt you. Don't let them halt you, sweetie. If you feel like doing one on Thursday, we'll be there to support you. As Carol's nest says, uh, drop Gemma's link. Yes, uh, drop Gemma's link, please, Batman. Um. Does anyone message you? Okay, I missed that. Um, I think Gemma was saying she messaged Ivy. Homeless in America says, cool, but I'm homeless, so what are the police going to do? Come to my house. Uh, thought I'd better swoop and show support. Hello, Russell Crowe's in the building. The bird is in the building. Yes, I get you homeless. That's a different situation, but I'm talking about people. You know what I mean? Uh, Brennan says, what you doing homeless in America? Uh, unusual pets says, got to pop off. My kids are fighting. Sorry. No worries. Unusual pets. No worries. Beth says, Gem, I would give them the time of, I wouldn't give them the time of day. If someone makes threats, I would report it to the police. She did do that. Yep. The more air time you give them, the more they will attack Gemma. I learned that from experience. Yes. Don't give them watch time. Chicken butt is one of my parasites. So I'm, I'm leaving. Take care. Oh, uh, sorry, Jake. I'm not aware of that. I mean, you can just ignore Jake. You know what I'm saying? I'm in lots of channels. I don't care for people. I don't leave. I'm there for the host, right? Uh, Rock Your Color says, yes, best response is no response. That's right. There you go. Uh, Got to run. Get back to work. Cheers, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you drop my link, please? Nest. S-K-R. Nest. Savage, can you drop their link? S L K R Rose Nest, drop the link. Uh, Beth, appreciate it, but no. Uh, I love watching and putting the cops in check. That's what I do. I know I like it too. I do it, and you're nice about it. There's a couple other channels there. They egg them on, and they're ignorant and stuff. You're not like that. You you add a little bit of humor to it. You're actually polite. That's why I like your channel, right? I don't like. There's no mean reason to be mean to a cop or negative or ignorant to them or whatever. But you. Your words are mindful when you're doing it. You're still getting your views and people supporting you because you're not a dickhead. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. You are discretion and advised. This is for entertainment purposes only. Uh, Beth, I didn't respond. Lovely. I reported it and live is still up. Awesome. Everyone have a great day. Get Got to get back to work. Stopped in to show my support. Thank you, Chicken Buck. Uh, but I appreciate that. Really do. You have a great day. Uh, there's the link. Hi, like father, like son. 16 peeps in the building. How is everybody? There's 17 now. Hi, like father, like son. Chris is in the building. They are camping. How's the fishing going? You catching anything? Where's my girl? Tell my girl, come and say hi to her mama. Russell Close has had proper sausage for dinner today. Oh, my God, Russell Crowe. You're eating like a king, buddy. You are. Well, you are in a king, 
community, really. You're in the UK, right? We all share the kings and queens. Like father, like son, says Ivy, how are you? Um, hey, like father, like son. Uh, Russell Crow says, hi, Brandon Savage. Batman just put the link for like father, like son. Guys, go connect. Bess says, Gemma, be mindful, babe. Your mods should be on the ball and block the mother effers. Yes, right. Yes, Gemma. That's what they're there for, sweetie. How is everyone today? Um, uh, UK medic, why are you not blue? Is that the real UK medic in the building, guys? The logo looks the same, but he's modded. So why is he not modded? Is this a third channel? Oh, uh, this is great. So much support. Nice people. Somebody check out UK medics. I don't understand why you're not modded. Uh, cause yours wasn't removed. Uh, like father, like son, put a link. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going now. Cause like father, like son is here. <laughs> Beth, you're funny. Chris, good to see you. How are you from Ivy? Russell Crow says, thanks. Not UK in the chat. That's not him. Okay, guys, get that out of here. That's not him. Are you sure? That's not our real UK because UK has mod. He's modded up, guys. He's modded up. No, it's not me at Maja. Get it out of here. Okay, I can't scroll back. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, my God. It's letting me do it now. This is just weird. Oh, looks like it's gone, right? Uh, report and block. Yep. There we go. Report. There you go. I reported it. Make sure you report, guys, okay? Um, Jeffy, be mindful. Yep, 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 yep. Make sure you're reporting it. I did I just reported them. Uh, I knew it wasn't you, man, because you're you have a mod. See, that's why it's good to mod certain people. Yeah, it's gone. Thanks, guys. Be mindful. The little parasites, you know, we we have an idea who that who's doing those things. You know, leaving nasty comments. We know. I've done it. Thank you. Press giving Chris a heart. Ivy says it's gone. Thanks, guys. That was not me. Yep, it's all cool. That's all cool, medic. Don't worry about it. We report and we block. That's what these buttons are wonderful about, you know, report and block. Uh, Bess says, hey, Tam Tam. Versicolor says, we got you, medic. That's right. We do. Yep, the logo was wrong. I noticed it. Yep. Look at this. Look at Medic's logo, guys. Look at the little features and the little lines. And I knew right away because he's modded in mine. He's never left it. He's never, um, he's always been modded. So I don't suffer. I don't suffer fools lightly. So if they want to come, I have my Thor hammer ready. Yes. Texas, uh, sorry, the Texas Scratcher. Hello, hello. 16 beautiful people in the building. Please hit the thumbs up. Help out the host. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm going to see if my recipes that I'm making are in this book because I have books with recipes in them because I'm going to be doing some peanut butter balls, choc uh, coconut balls for Chris because he likes coconut balls. Maybe I'll have some ready when they get back. They're coming back Sunday. Um, let me just see here. Oh, ooh, my one tooth has been bothering me in the back of my mouth. Okay. They're not in this one. Maybe they're in my other one. Um, <clears throat> that one has been around before. Okay. Daniel. Hi, Daniel. How you doing? Please give me a thumbs up. Beth says, hi, Daniel. Uh, peanut butter balls, Chris. Does that mean he is mo modeling for you? Oh my God, Beth, that's funny. He loves coconut balls, so I make I make tons of uh, coconut balls. They're so easy to make, guys. Oh my God, they're easy to make. You can just do the straight white ones with the coconut, or you can add the chocolate and then do the coconut. Um, yeah, I got banana bread recipe in here. Got my banana bread recipe in here. Um, it must be my other book. I have a book here and I keep all my, it's okay, Megs. I keep all my, I, Chris, are you still in the building? Do you want to see Maggie? I have their dogs, guys. I'm babysitting them. Yeah, I don't see the recipes in here. Mm, yeah, it must be my other book, which I don't have here. It's not here in front of me. <clears throat>
Okay, it's not here in front of me, so that's okay. It was like an inverted picture of your avatar medic. Yep, it wasn't him. Well, and of course, he wasn't blue neither, so <laughs> that's how we knew, right? That's how we knew. That's how we knew. I love coconut. Yeah, me too, and it's good for you. I buy the sweet one. I'll show you guys. You can buy the unsweetened or the sweet. I prefer the sweet one. Um, now, if you're dealing with chocolate like me, you can substitute and go the unsweetened coconut instead of the sweetened, and then you don't have too much sweet tea, right? So I buy um, I buy these ones, the sweetened one, right? That's the, that's the ones that I buy, the sweetened coconut. And then my daughter and I went to the bed and bath last week and they had these on for a dollar 49 these are usually four dollars and up a bag i got them for a dollar 49 i bought something like 11 bags and these are the only ones i like i won't use uh the no brand ones because they don't melt <coughs> they don't melt good in a pot or in the microwave they're nasty they become all clumpy these are the best and you'll see you'll see i'm gonna do a double pot on the stove with hot water and this is how i melt them to dip my my coconut balls peanut butter ball so maybe i'll do a cooking thing tomorrow are you guys up for that you want to see me um making peanut butter balls and stuff in the kitchen or would you guys be interested in that or would you be bored or <laughs> yeah so yeah and i'll show you how i do them uh like and almost uh joy oh my god yes almond yes i love almonds oh my god almond joy i'm so upset much i offered ivy and she said no how rude <laughs> that's funny best medic says yes Kibian. i have seen it in another channel but they left as i came in yep ivy says uh rude all day long beth if have to be lol <laughs> um okay hold on guys i gotta check uh Matt, my daughter's message me ah, one sec Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Sorry about that. My daughter was messaging me. I call it. Can someone drop Savage Batman's link? Yes, Savage Batman. Ivy, can we drop Savage Batman's link? Did we get best link dropped? Hi, Colette. How are you doing? Beth, hi there. Hope you are keeping well. Good to see you, Colette. Whitney's in the building, everybody. I love peanut butter. Me too. Me too. It's a go-to. If I like today, I'm not feeling soup. All kinds of soup here. I'm not feeling it. I was drinking one the eating one the other day. You know how you just eat and you just I just want to eat just to get something in me until dinner. I'm not sure what dinner plan is for tonight, but last night we did Mary Brown's chicken and fries. And um my eating and taste buds lately have just been all over the map lately. It's just been weird. Like, you know, uh I've been craving Chinese food and it's just weird. Um, I'm back guys, just talking with my daughter. Hello, Colette from Ivy. I'm doing okay. Had a traumatic experience at the doctor's today, but otherwise okay. Wow, Beth. Oh my goodness, dear. What happened, sweetie? Do you care to share it, my love? Hi, Amanda. We love you, Amanda. I didn't see her. Is she in the chat, guys? Hold on. Uh, where is she? I don't see her. Oh, oh, you're just saying hi to her because I'm talking to her. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I had a delicious beef curry and nan bread. Oh, I like nan bread. Beth, that it, it was me and out came back. It was fine. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. I think YouTube should let the people who are actually doing well on YouTube alone because the parasites are ultimately running it for the people. Yeah. Block and ignore. Pot, p report block. Report block, guys. All right. Okay. Let me come back. All right. Colette says, don't forget to hit the like button, everyone. Thank you, Colette. 
Let's get call at Slink Drop, please. And thank you. Medic says the other way to make coconut balls is mix coconut with condensed milk. Put it in the fridge and roll into a ball. Yes, I've done that, Medic. I've also done that as well. I buy the sweet condensed milk. Yes, I've done it. It's so good. And I might even do that. Maybe I'll go get, I'll do two kinds. I'll do the one with the milk. I'll go get some tonight and then do the other ones. But if you guys are interested, I will do some tomorrow. Um, and you guys can watch me in the kitchen. I might not be able to keep track of the, the chat, but my mods will look after you and um, keep things going. Bess says, oh, that's better. There's Silly Rabbit. Hi, Silly Rabbit. Hello, Maja and chat. Good to see everyone. Uh, let's get Silly Rabbit's link drop, please, uh, Savage Batman. Hi, Silly. How is your day going, sir? Good to see you. Thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up. I'm almost a 40 thumbs up. Um, Bess says, hello, Silly Rabbit. Medic says, hi, Colette. Uh, Versicolor says, hey, Wabbit. Bess says, UK Medic, how are you, sweetie? Colette says, at Silly. Hi there. Um, yeah, so my topic earlier was about stress and anxiety and triggers. And, uh, you know, we have certain people, places, and things that can trigger our anxiety and our PTSD and get our heart racing and just get us right bitter and angry. Right? We all know this. And um, so we talked a little bit about, or I asked the people in my chat, what do you, what do, you do to... Um, uh, you know, to, to help your PTSD or your anxiety, anxiety. And I think when it comes to YouTube itself, um, we just block and ignore, right? Don't give them the watch hours. Don't give them the, because they want that, right? So as soon as you do something on them, then the ball just keeps going. So, um, and you know, there's a lot of parasites out there that need to be exposed and, um, and, and do we, I don't know, do we expose them? Uh, you know, that's a, that's a tricky question. <sighs> Um, so yeah, just, uh, it just brings negative attention to you. Right. I gave it them. I gave a thumbs down. All right, Beth. It's okay. <laughs> Stress and anxiety. Well, mine hit me today at the doctor's. Yes. And it shouldn't be like that, Beth. A doctor should be there to keep you calm and be subtle and, and respectful to you. So that should never, no one should ever feel like that at a doctor's. I hope he wasn't inappropriate or, you know, sometimes the doctors don't have the proper words. They don't know how to talk to you properly. First of color says, me too, Beth. Ha, ha, ha. A medic says, I'm doing great. Thanks, at Beth. How are you? Ivy says, hello, Rabbit. Richard, something bottom. You, what? Yo, what is popping? Hello, hello. Hi, Richard. What community do you come from, buddy? How did you hear about my channel? I think you're new here. Check the channel out, people. Check the channels out. The new one's coming in. Hello, hello. Beth says, I am fine. You came in. I think I will let you know later. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Medic, I couldn't find your email address. The one, by the way, guys, on my YouTube is not working. I have a different one now. I haven't changed it on my YouTube. So anybody messaging me, I won't get it. I've already checked. It's not working. Ever since they changed things up and they're forcing you to go to certain um, certain do Gmail or whatever, it messes up. So I've had to do a new, new email. Thank you for that, Batman. Don't know what was said. But um, yeah, be mindful when you're in here, Richard. Be mindful. My people with the jackets are going to put the straight jackets on for you. I am fine. You came in. I think I will let you know later. Uh, another brand new channel just created today. Yep. Get rid of it. Thank you so much. That's the way we roll. That's the way we roll. It's so good to have good mods, people. It was great yesterday. Thank you. Anybody new coming in, guys, please check their channel out right away. Check, report, and remove. Okay. Uh, no, it is just me, Maja. The doctor was fine. It was just me because I had to have a person. Okay, Beth. Okay, sweetie. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, that can happen. Yes. Yes. We know, you know, guys, we have to go and we have to have certain procedures done sometimes. And, you know, and we get our anxiety worked up before we even get there. Oh my God. I've been through that. And, um, you know, we're worked up, we're stressed out and uh, hi, Sue. Just want to stop by and leave a like. Uh, still keeping an eye on Kitty after her tooth extraction. She's doing better. Have a, a good life. Thank you. I'm glad your Kitty's doing good. Yep. It's like us, eh, Sue? We get worked on our mouth is hurting after. It's the same thing with your pets, right? Batman, damn, you're quick. I thought I got him first. Beth says, hey, sir, John Paul. Hello, John Paul. Hey, Sue, good live. Hi, John. Um, also, guys, um, I think it was today or yesterday. Don't quote me, but... Um, can we get Big Ben Urban Exploration, Savage Batman? Can we get his link drop? Big Ben Urban Explorations. Explorations. Let's help him grow, guys, and support his channel. He really needs watch hours and support as well. He's in the UK, so when it's daytime here, he's probably sleeping. Uh, he, I believe, had to put his uh, his second dog down. So rest in peace to his beagle. I think it was beagle. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. It's tough, buddy. I know. I've been through it. And, of course, you were not too long ago with the 
this other dog, right? So please, uh, Savage Batman, drop Big Ben Urban Explorations link for me, please. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Sue is saying hello to Beth, Ivy, and John. How you doing, John? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yep. And um, guys, can you check and make sure that's the real John, real John Paul for me, please? Yep. Uh, Ben's link. Thank you, guys. Please support Big Ben Urban Explorations, guys. He, you know, he gets down on himself sometimes and he feels people don't like his content or him or whatever. And, you know, let's please go over and support him. Tell him Maj just said, yeah, he knows me. Go watch his stuff. Leave him a comment and a thumbs up, please. He's got great content. He's showing the zoos and koala bears and things that go on in his community. He's in Australia, just like Craig Catfish's channel. And uh, please support him, guys. Tell him Maj just sent you. Honest to God. Go and help this guy out. He, he's been on YouTube a long time, and he's just growing too slow, and he shouldn't be. Everybody should be running to his channel and connecting to him. Um, yes, it is. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Colette says, by the way, I'm currently working on my health issues and believe me, good to be offline to get better. That's right. That's right, Colette. It's good. Focus on you, your triggers, what works, what doesn't work. Sometimes we need vitamins. We need to eat properly. Um, there's many things. Take a walk. Um, there's many things we can do to help our mental health, right? Uh, if you've got a good partner in your life, that's that's good as well. They're there to listen to you and, uh, you know, be patient and... Uh, Bud says, Big Ben, have my messages been going through? I just did another message. Um, I don't know. Is he in here? I didn't see Big Ben come in here. I just want his link dropped. Mm -hmm. uh, Best is aw. Sending you love and hugs, Colette. We are always here for you. That's right. Yes, we are. Um, because I only watch my favorite YouTube channel. That's it. All right. Yes. Thank you. Um, I, I'm proud of you, Colette. I've said this before. I've never met you in real person, but I do know you through YouTube. And I'll tell you guys, men and women, it's very empowering when you can look at yourself in the mirror and identify with who you are or what you want to be um, or how you slacked with yourself. It all begins with ourself, right? If we don't love ourselves. We're always, we're always the ones that beat ourselves up. Never mind other people, but we are the ones ourselves that are very, very, very hard on ourselves, right? So we misinterpret things, take things wrong. Uh, people like I, like me and Colette and a lot of us, we're very sensitive and emotional to certain things that are said to you, whether it's something kind or not kind. And uh, I think it's wonderful, Colette. Keep going. Baby steps, sweetie. Baby steps. Go slow. Don't ever try to rush, rush your mental health. Don't ever try to rush getting better quickly. It takes years. When you figure out who you are and what you're about and why you like the things you do and maybe why you don't like the things you do or the things that you're attracted to, um, you, you start to feel really good and whole. I think whole is a good word to use as a person. And we all have our faults. My God, this world's hard to live in, isn't it? And people can just bring us down, try to bring us down or whatever. But sometimes it's not even about that. It's just life in general, people, places and things. Yes, I know he's not here, Beth. I would have seen him. Yep, Beth, I got more work to do. That's right. And you're doing it, Colette, one baby step at a time, right? Look where you've come in the last three months. I said this months ago to you. I'm just really, I'm really proud of her, guys. I really, really am. Anybody that tries to work on themselves, <clears throat> it's good. I think we all should do it. Look in the mirror and, um, I frostbite, look in the mirror and see who you are. You know, are you a, a vindictive, hateful, crappy person? Are you sneaky? Are you a jealous person? Do you look yourself in the mirror every day and say, hey, and yes, we're human beings. We have to protect ourselves, people, especially the women on YouTube, because some 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 women out there just get really backlash. There's guys, too. But I mean, there's some real trashy parasite people on YouTube. So you got to be mindful. Um, and in the real world, not just YouTube, guys, I'm hypothetically talking and uh, I don't pay attention to those people. I'm not giving them the, the time of day, the watch hours. You know what I'm saying? So um it's hard enough to be a human being now in this society because I know a lot of you guys in my age group, we grew up where there was phones on the wall. You went outside and played, you climbed a tree, 
you know what I'm saying? We were outside in the winter time. We weren't sitting on laptops and phones and all that. And I think it's a bad rap our kids are getting because this generation, I don't think it's good. You know, having that phone to your ear all the time and staring at a, at a, at a, at a laptop or a phone. And we got kids that are not going outside because the parents are guilty of it. Go play, go play your game, go whatever, instead of getting them outside and playing. The kids react to what the, how the parents are, right? So uh, Colette says, uh, Paul, hi there. Beth says, Colette, if we can help, we will. You darn straight, we will. We can pick a topic. Colette, is there, there something you'd like me to talk about? I'd be more than happy. Uh, message me on Facebook. I'm Deb LaBelle, L-E-B-E-L. -E -E it's my picture. Seriously, reach out. Um, and uh, we can talk. I can pick a topic. I'll do some research. I'll take a couple of days, do some research. And you can put some pointers in there if you want. If you don't want, you can stay quiet. But anybody can do this with me. If you want me to talk about a topic that you're struggling with or something in the past, let me know. Like, I'll try my best. I'm here to help people. It helps me too, guys. It helps me too. Uh, Beth says, hi, Paul. Colette says, uh, at Beth, I try to do things by myself because I do wish to be buried to other Uh, Versicolor says, I have a question, Maja, and it might enlighten some people. Sure, absolutely. Throw it out there. Throw it out there, Versicolor. I love questions and comments, and you can ask me anything you want, guys. Let's hear it. Uh, why do we tell people to leave a like and comment for the sub to stick? There are people with no content that their sub stick when there's nothing to like on a comment or just food for thought. You're right about that. Absolutely. Yep, you're right about that. Absolutely, for sure. Um, Versa Color, I was just a supporter for a good year and a half, and people kept jumping on my bus. I had no content, no nothing. But they knew me from like father, like son. They had seen me on the vids that Mandy, me, and Chris did. They knew, okay, Maj is a real person. She doesn't have any content yet, but in the future, she might. And thank God people still jumped my bus because I had 151 or 52 subscribers. I decided to do a live. Chris set me up and here I am 300 and some lives later. So you guys use it at your own discretion. If you feel a little iffy, don't, don't do it, right? Just don't leave a comment or whatever because, you know, so people didn't. I didn't have any content, so they were just hitting my bus up, right? So, yeah, um, that's a good question for us to color. Who else? Think, what else do you guys think about that? Um. And people are telling me to wait 24 hours before you connect or it won't stick, right? So, so yeah, people with no content, use your own discretion, guys. If you don't want to connect, then, but still, I still think people might be starting a new channel versus color and they haven't done a vid yet. So we still want to connect to them, right? Like yourself is brand new and fresh. We still want to connect with you because we know there's content coming. We do. Yes. Food for thought. Right, Masha? I had like 400 subs before I went live. That's right, Ivy. Yep, there you go. Just use, basically, if you've seen them around in your channel or other people's and you know they're a good supporter, maybe base it on that, right? Right, Maja? I think communication has been lost since since the internet. Not a lot of people talk to one another. It isn't nothing to be ashamed with mental health problems. Talk and more talk and more talk. That's right. It's good. It's good to talk. Trust me, I know all about it. Yep. Moon, hello, Moon. Hello, everybody, and mayhem. Hi, Moon. Good to see you, sir. Ivy says, I built my channel mostly around uh, Suki, but then I'd be in other people's chat supporting, and they connect it. Yes, Suki is her dog. He's so cute. Beth says, hi, Moon. Ivy says, Ugh, I said the S word. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. This is for um, um, educational purposes only. Uh, Ness says, I, ne I need to run. All right. Beth says, take care, uh, Nest. Uh, take care, SKRO. Moon says, hello, Beth. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, Versicolor says, later, SKROs. Yeah. So just use viewer discretion, guys. Um, you know, I was in so many people's channels supporting them. It was crazy. So people already knew me. I was a real person. And they still kept connecting with my bus. So it's all up to you guys how you want to do it. You know what I mean? Ness says, bye, Carabina, Tarabina. Um, so, yes, it's just uh, you guys decide how you want to do it, how you want to roll, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ness says, bye, Ivy. So we've got something going on tonight. At, is it 7 o'clock? It's Jess's channel. 
maybe Thursday for uh, Gemma. She's still got her notification up. She's tra uh, trying to decide if she's going to, you know, do it on, on Thursday or not. Uh, Kirby, Karen, I just connected you. Way to go. Yes, Ivy. Way to go. Yep. 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 So uh, anything you guys want to talk about or ask me? Anybody have a question for Maja? If I can answer it, I will. But this is a good topic. Mental mental health and PTSD is a real thing. Uh, a lot of uh, cops and firefighters have it, um, you know, because of all the stuff they witness every day. First of color says, thanks, Ivy. Jess is seven minute Eastern time tonight. Okay, Ivy. I will be there. <coughs> seven o'clock Eastern time tonight, guys. I hope you guys can all go over and, and support Jess. Uh, got you back, Ivy. Way to go. Yes, that's the way to do her. That's the way to do her. Um, yeah, just go by who's coming in your chat and who's supporting you and other their names that you see other way other places as well. Um, there's a lot of channels I'm in. You guys, none of you guys are in there. I don't see you in there just because I'm out there. I'm just watching different stuff and stuff, right? Whatever floats your boat, people. Whatever floats your boat. I got to go and do family time. Love you, Maja. If you're still on when I'm finished, I will come back. Thank you, Beth. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Versicolor says, can we get Jess's link so I can be there and show up? Yes, you can. Ivy, can you drop Jess's link? Uh, Jess was in here earlier. Can you drop her link, the one that's on for seven tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Yes, be there. This is how you guys get connected. This is how you guys are going to get new people in your channel, right? So, yes, we, we want to see you guys all there. And then you end up getting one or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight. People connecting to you. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm back, Masha. I was making a video. All right, ba Batman, welcome back. Welcome back. I should have sang that for Silly Rabbit because I like that song. Ivy says, Jess is linked. There you go. There you go. Versicolor, there is the link. Yes, 7 p.m. Eastern time tonight, guys. Which is uh, 132, 33, 34, 35, 36, five and a half hours from, from now for me, because it's 1 31 here in the afternoon. Yep. Uh, 131 or 151. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ivy. Yes, yes, yes. Show the support, guys. She's been through a lot, guys. Oh my God. When I first jumped in there, I don't know if it was Ivy or somebody told me about her channel. My God, I went in there and I was listening to this woman, the stuff she's been through. Holy moly, guys, I'll tell you, this is what empowers us people, people's personal stories and tragedies and things they've had to overcome and humps and bumps and all that, right? There's the mayhem and then there's the miracles, people. There's the mayhem and then there's the miracles. You're welcome, Ivy says. Um, and nobody's ever exempt from mayhem. We all know that, guys. We all know that. We lose a loved one, lose a pet, uh, something happens to a friend or something anything in life there's there's mayhem but it's how we react to it right she's pretty amazing honestly she really is ivy i just have so much respect for her for putting on her camera and just talking about stuff i mean i've talked about my personal stuff i don't go in real extreme depth like i should um but i pretty well try to give you the picture of what it was like some of the mayhem that i I've, I, I've had to endure in my life, right? And uh, we're not exempt from it. Something will happen and we have to get over that hump. And I mean, I just had to put my Molly down on July 31st and anybody that doesn't have a pet or never connected to a pet will never understand us pet lovers. They're like our children. They are like our children. I would feed her before I fed myself, right? Uh, thank you, Kubina. Um, and, uh, y you know, there's a connection there when you have a pet. There's just... This, I've had lots of dogs over the years, but this one here, man, this one rocked my boat, let me tell you. She was extra, extra special. I'm not saying my other dogs weren't, but I, I just had a connection with her. Holy Jesus. So, yeah, nobody's exempt from, you know, stuff in life, right? So, hi, Kyle. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Colette Whitney says, uh, what I mean, mean to say, I wish to deal with myself then ask others because they may have their own things to deal with. That's right. Yes, that happens. That happens. 
but it's okay to reach out. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Just link and info for tonight is also on my community page. All right. Uh, Jess's this link for tonight is on Ivy's community page, guys. If you missed it, we have dropped uh, just this link, okay? So, happy birthday from Bud. Happy birthday, Kyle, from Bud Chronicles. Happy birthday, Kyle, from Ivy. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, happy birthday. I think you're 35 today, buddy. Is that what it is? Mm, you're young. Yes, brace life. Uh, Versa Color says, happy birthday, Kyle. Yes, happy birthday. I think he's 35 today, folks. Yes, yes. And I got my daughter's little girl beside me. The other one's over there on the couch snoozing. Yep, she's had her food and she's done her business and she's just chilling like a villain with Gammy. Yep, they love to be at Gammy's house. Yes, Gammy gives him lots of hugs and kisses. Hey, Bow? Yeah, that's right, Bow. Mm hmm. Welcome to the 11th, still in the building. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't. I got past the 40 mark. That is wonderful. Yep, that is wonderful. Um, Yankee says, Carbina, thank you. Savage, thank you, buddy. Yep, yep. Good to see everybody today. Good to see everybody. I'm growing. I don't know what my numbers are at. They were at 916. They probably went backwards which is cool with me. I'll go backwards, lose one, lose two, gain five, right? That's how it goes, buddy. <laughs> That's how it goes, people. That's how it goes. So yeah, I'm crawling up to 1K, people. I am going to be monetized. I could do it now, but I'm just waiting for Chris to get back. We're going to do all the stuff and blah, 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 blah stuff. So yes, welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. So I'm not sure if I'll stay live for another half hour, make it an even two hours today. We'll see if my chat goes up. I've only got 10 in here. Uh, we get more people, then I'll keep her going. Mm hmm. 926 Maja. Oh, okay. So I'm past the 916. Wowza. Okay. So that means I waited 24 hours. Those ones I uh, connected with stuck then. Somebody told me, wait 24 hours before you connect. So that's what it seems to be going on. 926 instead of 916. Wonderful. I to get in there. I'm almost at 930, guys. Almost. Uh, anyway, take care of yourself, everyone. All right, Colette. You take care, sweetie. Thank you so much for coming in and giving us an update on you on you. We really, really appreciate your support and hugs to you, sweetie. I'm, I'm really, really proud of you. You just keep going, girlfriend. Keep going. You got this. You got this. Yes, you do. And we're all here for you. We're all rooting for you. Anything, you know, you want Maja to talk about, we can talk about it. You can pick a topic, privately message me and I can pick that topic, do some research and we'll talk about it. If there's something that you're staying stuck with, I try my best to help. Uh, Colette, take care. Uh, Debbie shared you out my community tab. Thank you. Latoya says, my friend said, happy birthday, Kyle. Latoya's friend said, happy birthday to Kyle. Thank you, Latoya. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. That's very lovely. It's very nice. Yep. And, um, you know, um, what makes a good community, people? What makes a good channel? I'm just a baby channel, guys. I'm a baby channel, just, just so many others. But uh, like I always said, you only need one or two in your chat to keep everything going, right? Um, but I have to say, I'm proud of my community. I have a good, good community. We all protect each other. Uh, thank you to people with no jackets, to the people with jackets. The ones without jackets, you're not less important here. Trust you me. Don't be a butt hurt. I'm in a lot of channels. I'm not subscribed. Go look. Or sorry, I'm not wrenched. Go see. You guys see what channels I'm in. I'm not wrenching it. It's okay. I'm there for the host. If I need a link, I just go, can you drop their link, please? So nobody feel less important. Uh, don't be ever butthurt or offended if you're not, you don't have a jacket. I am adding more jackets as I go, but seriously, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Honest to God, you guys are on the ball. You do need mods in order to protect yourself, your channel, right? Because <clears throat> you want to protect yourselves, the chat, and the host. Uh, thank you, LaToya from Yankee. Where is Chris at Mayhem? LaToya, he was just in here earlier. Uh, him and my daughter are camping. They're at a cottage right now up north. He came in earlier and said hello. My daughter was messaging me a while ago. So I've got her two fur babies here and babysitting them. So they're gone camping. They're back on Sunday. So, yeah, my daughter got some holidays and because uh, she works really long hours and hard. And uh, so they're out enjoying themselves, doing some fishing, getting some fresh air. And yesterday was their fourth wedding anniversary. So it was wonderful, you know. So they're, they're taking a break, right? Um, 
Bud says, much love, Maja. Thank you, Bud Chronicles. I appreciate that. Uh, Bud, did we get your link dropped? Because I know in the beginning I get forgetful, right? Did we get your link dropped? Latoya says, you are awesome. And, and Kyle, oh, that's nice. Uh, I give you a mod. I give you a mod, Mayhem. Thank you, Latoya. Thank you. I'm adding mods as I go. I'm adding mods. I just, uh, you know, I go by how often people come and whatever, whatever. But, yeah, no, no worries. No worries. I always go back to my channel after and check people out and, whatnot but i've got to watch some stuff from yours for sure um i believe so okay is everybody connected to bud chronicles is everybody connected to latoya williams if not we can drop links again ivy drop me okay everybody connected because the thing is guys we could drop it in the beginning and then different and more people come in and they've missed that link so this is why sometimes we'll double up and do your link again a half an hour later because there's more people coming in eh so right now i only got eight people in the building so it's a little slower today people are busy they're going about their lives and uh much love ivy thank you thank you can much love savage pet missiles i was just about to drop all right so yeah i still got eight people so we'll wait and see if more people come in guys it's kind of like a slow day today and that is okay it's okay to have a slow day you know people are busy with their lives you know what i mean uh savage drop my link please yes we could drop your link again absolutely latoya that's what we do here that's what manji does i want to see you guys grow it's not just about my channel and me it's about you guys you guys grow i grow we all we're all a community right you know what I'm saying? So um, shout out also to uh, Heatful Joker. We can get his link dropped. He is a gamer. Let's get his link dropped. Savage Batman, Heatful Joker. We can't forget our gaming community people. You know, they need our help. They're coming out to our, our chats and, and uh, you know, chatting with us and showing up and giving us a thumbs up. So we have to remember the gaming community. If you have any in your community, like show them some support, right? Savage, can you drop me, brother? Yes. Um, so yes, we, um, you know, we want to support our gaming community people. Um, and there's such a huge paranormal community out there as well. There's a lot of them trashing each other. It's just terrible what they're doing to each other. I don't know if it's jealousy or what it is going on, but there's just a lot of ruckus, right? And, uh, so if you have paranormal channels you, you like, go over there and support them. <coughs> there she is. Hi, Monique. Oh my God. I got to put socks on. Where'd my socks go? My feet just got right ice cold. Oh, where's my socks? Here they are beside me. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. Oh, my God. That's too funny. My socks are right here. Uh, hi, Monique. How are you? Yes, that, that bot knocked her out yesterday in Savage Batman. So it was hilarious. I lost sound, so I was trying to reboot. And uh, the freaking bot went and knocked Monique out of Savage Batman. It's the poor girl. But she stuck around. She was patient. She knew it wasn't done on purpose. It's all good. I don't like those bots. They cause trouble. <laughs> it's too funny. Hi, Monique. How are you doing? How are you doing? How's your day going? So nice to see everybody. Yes, yes. Uh, Latoya says, hello, Monique. <clears throat> Monique said, uh, uh, connected to you, Latoya. Monique, good afternoon, sister. How you doing, Monique? How are you doing? They are shooting at the fair of mayhem. Oh, cool. Um, uh, I laughed my ass off. I've never heard of this. Yeah, me neither. I've never seen a bot do that. That's just weird. That's why I don't like them. I won't put that on my channel just in case you can put a thing in your headings there about certain words. And if anybody says it, they'll won't allow it. So I'm learning about that as well. So wonder if that works for the host. Cause you know, the host has a potty mouth sometimes, right? That would be hilarious. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, I don't like bots in the channel. I don't like, they just, like I said, you got knocked out. It was hilarious. It wasn't done on purpose. So I'm glad you came back. <laughs> Hi, Latoya from Monique. Thank you. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I said, yeah, I don't know how I feel about the bots. I don't think I'll ever have one in my channel. So, um, I mean, I guess they're good for dropping links or dropping the host's info, right? What's everyone eating? Um, I just had a piece of cheese, a couple pieces of cheese and peanut butter and toast. That's all I pretty well consumed today. Uh, I've never used the night bot. Nope, me neither. But I, actually, I do need to take my meds. I didn't take my diabetic thingy, so I'm going to do that now. I'm eating pizza, Monique. Oh, Latoya's eating pizza. What's on it? What are you eating on it? 
String cheese. Yes, my daughter loves the string cheese, Monique. Oh, my God. Monique says pizza. Yes, yes. Yeah, we've got a few frozen ones in the, in the, in the, we don't buy them often, but we have some in the freezer and we'll just add stuff to them, eh? like extra pepperoni or cheese or, um, but I'm not a fan of them because I don't, I don't care for the sauce, but I mean, it has to be a good crust. I don't like thin crust pizza. It's like eating shoelaces. Uh, they are like a rogue moderator. Got to be careful what you say in chat when they are around. Yeah. See, I don't want one of those and ham. Oh, I like ham and I also like pineapples too. Yep. Might make a nice dinner on Sunday for my kids when they get back. Their anniversary, they celebrated four years anniversary, of wedding anniversary yesterday. They're camping till Sunday. So I think um, I might prepare a nice meal for them for when they come back on Sunday. A nice hot meal. It's cold here. They couldn't fish at night. She said, Mom, it is just too cold. <laughs> so they're waiting for the daytime. So <clears throat> I might <clears throat> make them a nice, um, I might make them a nice dinner for Sunday. Uh, Latoya says, I am diabetic mayhem. Yes, I am as well. Yes. Yep. 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 I got my, uh, metformin I take and, uh, yep. Uh, Haley lost. Hello, I lost souls. How are you doing? Ah, uh, shared you out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lost souls. Pepperoni pizza. Yes. I like pepperoni. I like pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, sometimes onions. Pineapple. Yes, I love pineapple. I know people think it's gross, but I just love, I am not big on the Hawaiian one though, for some reason, the ham and the pineapple. I usually pick the ham off my pizza, depending what it is. I don't like those big, some of the pizza joints here put the big, thick, like pieces of ham. I don't like it. It's weird. I'm not, I'm not a fan of ham on a pizza. It's weird, but I uh, definitely like pineapple. I can eat that on any kind of pizza. Um, oh my gosh, Lost Soul. Jesus, you have bad luck. Sorry to hear that. Oh my goodness. Monique says, hey, Lost Souls. Wow, that sucks, dude. Jesus. Ah. Wowza, wowza. That is not good. Oh, I hope you're on the mend. My goodness gracious. <clears throat> Did anyone decorate the house for Halloween? Where's Hannah? Where is Hannah? Hannah, I haven't seen you in the chat. Where have you been? Get your arse in here, would you? Because I just thought of her. Because they, they've, um, actually, Hannah's family just put up their Christmas tree. <laughs> Where's Hannah? Where? What are you doing, Hannah? Why aren't you in here? Yeah, I just noticed Hannah's not in the chat. Chat. Uh, they put the Christmas tree up, which I just think is weird. I will not put my tree up that early. Nope. It usually goes up December 1st, and it's usually down before New Year's. <laughs> but yes, did anybody decorate their house for Halloween? I used to all the time when the kids were little. I loved it. I had the webs, the spiders, all these things that talked and made noise. And oh, my God, it was so much fun. Yes, heal up soon. That's right. Oh, my goodness gracious, Vinny. Uh, Monique says, oh, no, lost soul. Sorry to hear that. Savage Batman says, me personally, I don't like pineapple on pizza. I don't think pineapple. Yes. You, you know what, Batman? A lot of people are, agree with you. Yep, absolutely. Yep. I love it, though. I love that sweet taste, right? Uh, yes, Hannah, where are you? Yeah, where are you, Hannah? Where are you, Hannah? Yes, I haven't seen you in my chat. Or Brookie, where are you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, thank, thank you. I will be okay. Yes, man. Take it easy, buddy. Jesus. Wowza, wowza. That that's, that had to hurt. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, hey, Yankee. Hello, just woke up. Hi, Spitfire. Good to see you. I'm glad you had a great nap. Uh, that's crazy. Who puts their tree up that early? Yeah, exactly. That's what I said, what, Anna? What? what? Like, do you guys normally do this? Like, no. I No, mine don't go up till December 1st. Yeah, most likely the kids will be having Christmas here. So, uh, And you know what, guys? My daughter has to work Christmas Day and Boxing Day this year, right? There's a lady that works at her work that does not celebrate Christmas, and she would love to take her shifts. They don't allow it. They don't allow it. She has to do her shifts. So she's got to work 7 in the morning till 7 at night, and then Boxing Day as well, so we won't be able to show up on Boxing Day. Thank you, Brookie baby. Hello, girly. Uh, Hannah, yeah, where have you guys been? <laughs> I'm like, I haven't seen them in the chat. Welcome back, ladies. Welcome back. Uh, so this year... Uh, I'll make, we'll make the turkey meal and stuff. We will go ahead and eat about five 30. And then my daughter comes home. She'll have her turkey dinner, her little daughter, her daughter, 
our little girls make noises beside me here. <coughs> and then we're going to open up our gifts in the evening, which I think is really cool because we're all adults, right? So we're going to wait till my daughter gets home Christmas evening, like in the evening, and then we'll open our presents, which will be nice. And we can have some coffee and tea and some dessert and, and whatnot. Hopefully we can FaceTime with my son and his and his wife and the baby and, the, and all the kids and uh, FaceTime with them, of course. And uh, But I'm sure we'll be seeing them at some point a little mm -hmm. after Christmas. We'll be going down and spending time with them. I posted two pictures. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go check that, Benny. Uh, hey, Hannah. Hey, Brooklyn. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Yes, Adrian says, Lost Souls Paranormal. Hello, Monique says, hey, Brooklyn chick. Uh, just wait till tomorrow. Christmas move, move movies will be on uh, will be on Hallmark before Halloween. That's right. Yes, I love Christmas decorations and stuff. I'm hoping to get to the falls this year. It's not far from me, and see all the lights and stuff. I want to go there. Like even if it's just one night, or we don't even stay, we just go for the evening, get a coffee, and because like I said, we're not far from there, right? Uh, Brooklyn Ch Chick says, hello, Kabina. Oh. Hannah says, hey, Kabina. Yankee Kyle says, good afternoon, Brooklyn. And yes, it is a Yankee Kyle's birthday today, everybody. Ivy says, oh, my Vinny feel better. Brooklyn says, Yankee, hi, sweetie. Bud says, hi, Brooklyn. Much love. Uh, Yankee, happy birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday, Brookie. Big 35. Remember when we were 35? <laughs> Remember? Hold on a minute, guys. This little girl beside me wants down. So it'll give me time to put my, my, um, Give me time to put my socks on and let her down. The little baby wants down. She wants down. There you go. The little baby wants down. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to get my socks on. My feet are freezing. There you go, Bell. You're okay, sweetie. You want your bed, baby? I was going to show Chris the dogs, but he didn't stay long in the chat because they're, they're camping. So, um... Uh, but I mean, I can FaceTime anytime I want with them. They can see their fur baby. So I'm just putting her back in her bed, guys. One sec. There you go, Bow. There you go, sweetie. Wee. There you go, baby girl. There's your there. Yeah, she's happy now. She's happy now, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. She growls and lets grandma know she wants down. Uh Brooklyn says, hello, bud. Uh, I was gonna buy a new Christmas tree, but instead I'm spending the money on Rat cage and accessories. Merry Christmas to me. Oh, yes. Ivy's getting rats, guys. Yes, she is. And you don't have to go big for a tree, guys. You can just, um, you know, if you have a small family or it's just you and your kids or something, you can just get those little trees about yay big and put them on your table. You know, the buck stores have all little kind of cute decorations and decorated. It's cool. Looks beautiful on your table. Yes. And it says, happy birthday, Yankee. Lost Soul says, I'll be okay. I'm stronger than I thought. Yes, you are. That's when we realize how strong we are, Vinny. It's when we have to go through something, right? Yes, it awakens us up, doesn't it? It awakens our awareness up. Um, Ivy says, hello, Spitfire. Bud says, ah, Yankee Kyle says, thank you, Hannah. Lost Soul says, sis, how cold is it there? Um, Vinny, it is 15 Celsius here. Um yeah, it's it's chilly. It's not shorts weather. We're done wearing the shorts. I basically wear my track pants when I take the dogs out and, you know, just my normal shirt around the house and my coat. Um, and I'm good. Jake has to wear his jacket because it's cold here. Not cold, cold. You guys would find it freezing here. You people that live in the communities where you don't have winters. We don't find this freezing. We find this refreshing. My windows never get closed. They stay open all winter. The fans going, honest to God. Uh, we embrace the cold here. We embrace the, I know it sounds weird. But there's people here that like to skidoo, snowshoe, fishing. Like we have mi millions of Americans that come to Canada because of our cold, because of our ice fishing, skidooing. They get a cottage. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Snowboarding and stuff. So, yes. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's chilly here, Vinny. But, again, we don't find it cold. We're Canadians. We are used to the four seasons, right? Uh, Yankee, are you feeling old yet? <laughs> are you feeling older, Yankee Kyle? Ivy says 63 and cloudy. That's a nice temperature, Ivy. Yep, I don't do well in the heat. So, uh, Versicolor says, hey, Spitfire, good to see you. Yankee Kyle says, Brooklyn, yes, I am. Lost Souls is laughing. He's going, LOL. Yeah, we're used to it, guys. I know it's hard for you guys to get that in your psyche, but there's a lot of famous people that have cottages here, right here in Canada, close to me. Goldie Hawn is one of them, and Kurt Russell. They've got a cottage right in the town where I'm raised in. They have a cottage there. Um, what's her name? Um, Tori Spelling and her husband and five or six kids. 
also have a cottage in Muskoka where I'm from. There's lots of famous people that come here. They love the winter. Honest to God, they love the change. The kids are excited. They get to build a snowman and learn how to snowboard or skidoo. Uh, Yankee, I bet. Brooklyn says, JJ Toronto says, hey, y'all. Hey, JJ, how you doing? Um, can we get JJ's link dropped, uh, Brooklyn chick? Or Versicolor, you can drop it. JJ Adventure or Tarantulas, hello, hello. JJ, hi, sweetie. Uh, hey, JJ, good to see you. Last so, two nights ago, it got down to 48 degrees here in North Fort Myers, Florida. Yes. Now, see, Vinny, you guys consider that cold, right? That's because you guys get the heat all the time. Your body is uh, is used to uh, that certainty. See, I can't deal with that. I would not be able to live there. There's no way, because uh, there's a medical term for what I have, but I can't deal with the heat nonstop all the time every day unless I'm near a pool or water. And some days that's not feasible. Um, I love the four seasons. Um, so yeah, I don't, I wouldn't do well in this heat, but that, that we wouldn't find that cold. Actually, we would find that hot. You guys probably find that cold. So uh, hi all in chat from JJ Tarantulas. How are you doing? Yuri's in the building. Hi, Yuri. Yuri Nader is in the building. Welcome. Welcome in. Please give me a thumbs up guys. Hi, Kabina. JJ says, I'm good. That is good to hear. Ivy says, JJ, hey, Chester, the gamer's in the building. Hi, Chester. It's very good to see you. I was just saying earlier, Chester, that we're going to all try to really try to support our gaming community. Uh, Chester, the gamer. There's Heatful Joker. There's Savage Batman. Uh, OB Gamers will come in and support Maja. We have to remember these people because they, you know, aren't necessary. That's what they do. They game, right? That's their, their thing. Um, but they're coming into our chats and supporting our channel. So make sure you go over, guys, and watch some of their content and give them a thumbs up or show up when they're doing a live. Uh, what in the heck is Skidoo? You don't know what a Skidoo is, Vinny? Look it up. Look it up, Vinny. A Skidoo is something you ride. It's got handles, and you ride it on the snow and the ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skidoo or a sea -doo, we use them in the summer. I'm sure you know what a sea -doo is. We have them here in the summer. Uh, snowboarding, they're skidooing. Oh my God. It's endless. Uh, I have an auto inflammatory disease that makes it very hard to be in the heat. And I lived in Florida for eight years. It was miserable. Yes. It can affect your, I'm telling you people, the heat can affect your body. Uh, yes. You were born there. You're used to it. Um, uh, but it, it's not good. It serious. The sun is not good for you. It, it's killing our skin. It makes us wrinkles and tight and it just ages you right um and some ailments you have the heat does make it worse yep i always give thumbs up because uh you are awesome oh thank you that is so kind of you thank you so much ivy says hello chester uh thank you for that versicolor i appreciate that there's chester the gamers guys they come out and support us guys when you see a gamer coming in your channel and support you make sure you're doing it back okay uh chester the gamer ob gamers heatful joker uh brian black ice and uh, Savage Batman, they're all gamers. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. They're gamers. That's what these, that's their passion, guys. Our passion is turning on camera and talking to people. So make sure we support them, please. Okay. Uh, you're welcome, Chester. You're very welcome. I got to get over there. I've got, listen, I have my book here, man. I got so many people to get to. It's a ski jet. Yep. Ski jets are the ones for the water, but these ones are uh, for the winter ivy, right? They go on the ice and the snow. You can go on a skidoo and go right across the lake. Yep. Uh, Versicolor says, like a snowmobile. That's what it is. Yep. Yep. We have snowmobiles here in the winter and, and ski jets in the summer. And uh, Caribbean, can you drop my link? Uh, Nader says, just made the first big sale on my online store after a month. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. I don't know if I, if I did merch, if anybody would buy it. It would say Mayhem and Miracles, right? I don't know if people would buy it. I don't, I don't know. Like, there's some... Um, like, I don't know. I don't know if people would buy my merch if I had hats or sweaty sweatshirts or something like that. Uh, Mayhem and Miracles is kind of like a unique name, kind of justifies Mayhem and then Miracles. So maybe it would be good. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Caribbean, it's all you now. LOL, drop those links. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, Carabina, you'll be dropping the links for me. Okay. Because Ivy's probably going to leave soon. Um, no worries. Thank you. Thank you, Ivy. I'm a gamer as well, too, as well as a well as doing paranormal. Yes. Yes. There's sometimes people are dual. They'll do paranormal gaming or 
podcasts and gaming or yes, absolutely. Yes. So we got to remember, hello, Derek, how you doing? Uh, we got to remember the paranormal community guys. And I really like that Derek shortened his name. That just was so long. I'm really glad Derek, by the way, that you shortened your name. It's simple. It gets to the point, right? You don't have to do colors, paranormal slash blah, 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 like a big story. Right. Uh, I like simple and I'm, and Derek, that's, that's to the point. Dark shadows, para history it explains four different things. It's perfect. Derek. Perfect. Uh, Caribbean says, Hey Derek, Ivy says just tired. Much a rough night. No worries. Honey bunny Ivy. If you've got to go lay down, sweetheart, go lay down. Ivy's still on the men guys. She had a procedure done about four or five days ago and she's still on the mend. It's taken her a while to, uh, to heal. So she needs her rest. So Ivy, you go rest, sweetie. And I'll chat with you later. Thank you so much for being here. And tell Rich I said hi and give that fur baby years a kiss for me. And it says, thank you, Caribbean Savage Batman. Hi, Derek. I didn't even notice that. Um, uh, Derek says, I am okay. Just a little depressed. Oh, okay, Derek. Derek, let's talk. Derek, I did it. We were talking earlier about PTSD, anxiety, uh, triggers that uh, bring us down. And I was telling people, Derek, that... Um, I have my days too where I start getting right sad or I feel a little down. Uh, sometimes I don't know where it's coming from, right? Um, and I'm like, okay, what's going on right now, Rami? What's what's got me worried? What's got me tense? What's got me feeling a little off? And sometimes it's nothing. It's just our hormones. Men have hormones as well as we do. And you got to make sure that you get your blood work checked, your red cells, your white cells, all this stuff. You should be doing uh, uh, checkups to find out what is going on. Thyroid can be a big issue. Um, hi, Ivy from Bud. Um, thank you. Thank you, Versa Colors. Thank you. Ivy says, Bud Chronicles. Hey, Derek, what's wrong? I'm not leaving. I just don't feel like doing anything. Okay, sweetie. No worries. Well, I'm glad you're not leaving, honey, but you ha if you have to, it's okay, sweetie. Um, uh, that's okay. I've, I've got you. You're back. Thank you. Uh, just thinking of my regrets from my past. Um, okay. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, We are the worst people on ourselves for beating ourselves up, aren't we? And sometimes, you know, we go back to the past and we're like, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Why was I there when I was there? Why did I do what I do did? Why did I say what I said? Um, um, but the past is called the past for a reason, right? We have to very work hard. Like bring it forward when it's be becoming part of your recovery, where it's shoulda, coulda, woulda. I've got the wisdom now and I know what I need to do. Uh, you can bring it to the forefront a little bit, but not too much. Try to keep the past back there. It is called the past because it was part of our past. It was part of who we were or what we did back in the past. And you can't beat yourself up because we all know when you start doing that, we start to go backwards instead of forwards, right? Um, and don't beat yourself up. Embrace who you are and how far have you come in the last year, two years, three years? Those are the things you focus on. What are the differences between now and six years ago? And it's very good also to keep a journal, right? Uh, Derek, yeah, you didn't even respond to my message. Um Brooklyn's given hearts. Uh, First of color says we are our own worst critic. We are. We are our own worst critic. We really are. And sometimes actually too much YouTube can depress you too. Um, certain channels or things that are being said and you're getting um, absorbed with what's going on. And then what happens, some of those things that are being said or done to us or at us uh, become as a trigger. And then what happens is maybe what Derek's going through, he's starting to go deep back into his past and go, why did I do that shit? Why was I there when I was there? Those are circumstances. Those are things that happened to, and now it's like, like, okay, we've been taught a lesson. No question is ever stupid because a question is called a question for a reason, right? Um, so, uh, sorry, Ivy, just thinking of my regrets. Yeah. And don't be hard on yourself, Derek. Get your frame, get your mindset out of that. Get yourself out of the house, go for a walk, get off YouTube, whatever it is you need to do. Uh, to reprogram your brain to where you were, to get to where you were at, where you are in your life. You know what I'm saying, Derek? I'm doing the exact same thing for the last few days because something happened and I swear I know how you feel. Yes, and whether 
I find when it's dark out, my psyche changes. I don't like the dark. As soon as 6.30 comes, it gets dark. Usually it's dark by 10, 10.30. But now we're getting into the fall, and big difference. So, um, Derek, look into taking vitamin D. If you're not somebody to be out in the sun or outside a lot, look into taking some vitamins, buddy. Vitamin D and, you know, men have to take care of their psyches as well. Hey, Derek, brother, how you doing? Yankees is Debbie. Today marks my 30. 35 year anniversary of being sober. That is awesome. You got something in common with Derek, uh, Yankee Kyle. Yep. Derek has talked about some of his past guys. Yep. Congratulations, Kyle. Yankee Kyle says, thank you, Ivy. Versa Color says, LOL, Kyle. Uh, Lost versus happy Thursday. Hi, Maja. Sunshine and happiness just showed up in the chat as well as everybody else. Hi, Lost for. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Uh, Versa Color says, that's good though, Kyle. Don't. Don't start either. Ask me how I know. LOL. Ivy says, hello, Lost for Lost for says, hi, Ivy. Um, thyroid can play a big role. Uh, well, this weekend I might do a walkabout around Windsor here and do a live on my city's downtown core. That would be good, Derek. Get yourself out of your realm. Get yourself out of that apartment away from the computer. Seriously. Too much is not good. Show us. Do a live. Uh, let's, let's see your city, buddy. Let's see it. Right? Like, seriously, change things up, guys. Take a different route to work. Don't take the same route all the time. Change things up. It's good for you. It really, really is good for you, right? Get your mindset, you know, off of what you're down about. Um, some people can't go for a walk. So put on a nice movie. Put on a subtle, calm movie or some music, right? So there's some things we just need to practice. I think everybody's uh, situation applies to them. What works for one might not work for another, but uh, yeah, I think we're all feeling gloomy. And a lot of people, we know Christmas is coming. It's very hard in a lot of people. Um, and um, we have to remember those folks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I am thinking of all the loved ones I have lost and wish I would have done more. Well, Derek, they're around you, you know, they're around us. I, I you, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure I know, you know, you believe that our loved ones are around us. They are holding us up, even though we can be at our worst moment and we're shedding the tears. They're right be here, right beside us on our shoulder, but because of the, all the chaos that's going on in our minds or around us, we're not hearing them, not necessarily seeing them. We're not hearing them. We're not hearing them. Because we're busy. Our brains are busy. We're busy. The shoulda, coulda, wouldas, right? Um, but they're there. They're with us. And I hope there is such a thing as that we'll see them again. Because there's many people, including my pets, I want to see again. I won't know till I get there. Nobody has proof, I guess. Um, but um, I often wonder about that. I, I find myself drifting off and thinking about the afterlife. Is there really such a thing? Does it really, really happen? Uh, Derek, hello from Brooklyn Chick. Um, and I find myself pondering off. My nephew was like that. My nephew that died, he's very much like me, his auntie. Always the why and whys, you know. I wonder this. I wonder that, you know, and he was so much like his auntie. It's unbelievable. And I, and he always comes to mind whenever I'm having a thought like that. My my nephew comes to my mind, right? Uh, Derek says, hello, Brooklyn. Hannah says, hi, Lost for Lost. says, regret is sadness and disappointments over missed opportunities. Create new opportunities. Life is way too short. Hugs, Derek. Yes, what good words, Lost for Powerful words, regret is sadness and disappointment over missed opportunities. Create new opportunities. Life is way too short. Hugs, Derek. Yes, well said, Lost for thank you. Thank you, Brooklyn. Hello. Um, Versicolor, let's put Brooklyn Chicks link. Lost for words says, hi, Hannah. John Paul says, just shared you out. Thank you, John Paul. I'm waiting for the heart to move here. It's, I hate when that heart's in the way. I can't see people's comments sometimes when that heart's in the way. I wish they'd move it over or put it on the line where the chat is or something. Like, and we can't remove that. People have tried. We can't, we can't remove it. So, yes, everybody gets depressed, guys. I even do. Trust you me, I do. Um, it's a real thing. Um, and uh, you know, I you know, just try to start talking to somebody, make a phone call. You know, I try to do something to get me out of that psyche, right? Mm -hmm. So, welcome to the 18 in the building. Please give me a thumbs up if you haven't. Uh, there we go. I just, I was waiting for the chat to move. Uh, uh, uh. John Paul, how is your sister doing, buddy? How's your sister doing, John Paul, and how are you doing? I 
I hope she's better. I hope she's on the mend. Oh, that's good. That is good to hear. Yes. Yes. I always like to hear good news. Uh, I think stream put that on purpose. It doesn't do nothing for us. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Brooklyn. So many people are like, I want to try to erase it. I can't get it erased. Uh, Derek, I completely get it. I'm dealing with some sadness this week, too, with members of two years ago. Tough times. I'm learning to sit in these emotions and understand them. Yes, sit in your emotions and understand them. Don't try to flick them away because they'll still just keep creeping up, right? And don't be hard on yourselves. We're human beings. We have emotions. I'm thinking of going live at 3 today. That's what the stream time pointing towards. Okay, cool. That is good. Awesome. Savage Batman, thank you for letting us know. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's real, people. It's real. We all have our moments, and uh, we're lucky. We can connect with some people on YouTube um, and talk with them or help them out. You help each other out when you're helping someone out. I'm getting better. That is cool. Good to hear, buddy, on the man. Yes. Um, and we have our moments, and some people want to bury their stuff and just pretend it's not there. And, uh, and others want to want to say, hey, what's going on with me today? Why am I feeling like this, right? Uh, that's good, Savage Batman from Hannah. Uh, Derek says, I'm still here, just uh, deep in my mind, pondering a lot of stuff. Yes, and that's okay, Derek, to ponder. Keep a journal, bud. Keep a journal and write stuff down. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to be sad. Just try not to stay stuck in it, right? Don't stay stuck, buddy. Seriously, reach out, go for a walk, get a coffee. If you've got a buddy close to you, hang out, get out of the house and off the computer. Go do something different. Get out of that round, that routine. Sometimes the same routine every day can drive you bonkers, right? So get out, call a friend, go for a coffee. Uh, go say hello to somebody in a coffee shop, buy them a coffee, something. Just get yourself out of the, try, sorry, not try to get yourself out of that realm, right? Uh, thank you, Lost Fair. When I'm feeling like kind of funky, I usually just put something on YouTube, like on the TV, a movie or comedy, or Jake and I'll go out for our walk. Um, and then I run into my neighbors and their dogs, and we spend an hour talking outside, and it's, it's just nice. It changes things up, right? I am still here just deep in my mind. Yep. Thank you, Lost Fair. That's right. Totally understand, Derek. Yes, we've all been there. Trust you me, we've all been there. Um you know, nobody's exempt from depression, PTSD, anxiety, triple anxiety, um, you know. So I think uh, talking about things is really, really helpful. Um, I think some of these YouTube channels and streets can be very, very, very powerful because um, we all have knowledge, right, that we are sharing with each other. And, um, you know, it's just... Uh, when we share our empowerments and our and our uh, <clears throat> accomplishments, it helps one another. Uh, left a like and comment on one of Derek's shorts. Way to go, Savage Batman. Uh, ha ha, I binge watch cops. I like that show. On Pluto, free TV, it makes me realize my life isn't that bad. The laugh mass. If I watch those cop shows, me, Mandy, and Chris love them. Yep, Pursuits. Oh, my God, we were watching one there last Sunday. Uh, thank you, Savage Batman. Um, thanks, Savage. Yes, Derek, absolutely. Yep. People go over to Derek's channel and uh support guys. Uh, you're welcome, Derek. Yep, yep. Sharing your experience, strengths, and hopes really helps people. It really, really, really does. You know what I mean? I hope that helped you, Derek. I hope uh, some of the things that we're saying here can uh, help your mindset, buddy, just to kind of cheer you up a little bit today. Um, the struggle can be real for a lot of people. And if you isolate yourself and you're not somebody that has a huge bunch of friends, you're kind of like stick to yourself. Maybe um, try to get yourself out there and, um, you know, make new friendships and get out and have a coffee and, I do appreciate you coming to my stream last night, Maja. Thank you, Batman. That was fun. Uh, it was fun. You only need two or three people in the chat, right, Batman? And uh, pay attention to your to your chat because I was asking you questions. You weren't seeing them. I was trying to keep your chat going, right, and find out about your interests and stuff. Um, so, no, you did very well. You were alive for an hour and a half. And there's four people in there. We kept the chat going. And it was really, really, really nice, Savage. I enjoyed that. And I was glad to see people are getting out supporting you because you support so many people. So I'm... Um, 
I'm glad that we could be there to support. It does. Thank you, Derek. I'm glad it does, buddy. Don't be hard on yourself. Do not be hard on yourself. Make sure you're doing those doctor's checkups, you know, getting your red and blood white cells checked. Make sure your hormones and your check, Derek. Men go through stuff like women do. Seriously. You can also demand here in Ontario, because you're in Canada like I am, you can demand that you want certain things done. It's very important for people to have the thyroid checked. Um, <clears throat> you know, can either be too high or too low. Uh, 70 more subs until you reach a thousand mosh. Oh my God, silly rabbit. Hi, welcome back, sir. Yes, I'm on, I'm on the home stretch, silly. I'm on the home stretch, buddy. Yep. Uh, I am. Yep. 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 And, um, my email is not the right one. That's on my YouTube people. That one don't work for some reason. They force you to use a certain thing, Gmail or whatever. So I've had to change that. It went all wonky. So I don't get anything from that email. So I'm going to change it on my, uh, um, I think so anybody emailing me and I don't even do emails to be honest with you guys. I don't use email. I did way back in the day. Now I just FaceTime or uh, message people on Facebook. Right. Uh, so I will change the email that's on my, uh, my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Also be mindful that sharing too much on YouTube may get, a, a get used against you. Yes. Yes. Derek knows about that medical. Oh, yeah. We've watched some, some, so hi, true. Look at the flowers he's given everybody. Uh, we've seen, we've witnessed that stuff, how your personal information could be put out there. And, uh, I don't talk about my real personal, personal stuff, right? I've talked about mayhem. I've been through my life, normal stuff. People have, some people have experienced the same as me, but I don't talk about personal, personal, personal stuff. Like I don't, I never will. Right. Um, there's just some things you leave left unsaid. Right. So Hannah says, hello, true. Derek says, I might just do that this weekend is, is do a live video on my city downtown core and the West end and show you guys like report I have in my city. Yeah. Go and do a live Derek. We'll be there. Uh, put it up ahead when you're going to be doing it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Brooklyn Chiswick medic, medic is in the house. Yes, he is. He's in the house. And John Paul says, hello, Brooklyn. Um, yes. Our experience, strengths and hopes guys. We all have them. We all have our dreams and things we've had to overcome and, Things we're still overcoming, and uh, some things take a year. Some things will take the rest of our lives till we're dead for us to work on or look at, right? Um, if you've got good people in your life, good supportive people, and people that don't judge, it, then you're you're on the right track. Because I don't like when people judge people, you know, whether they drink too much, where they live, what they don't wear, what they have, whether they got a car or not. Whether they, I just think that's just nasty. Um, because karma's a bitch, you know, take a look at yourself, take a look at yourself. What are you doing? How are you as a human being? Right? So yeah, I, I don't like when people start saying, well, that person's this or that or whatever. I've got my views on a few people. And I know people in my chat do as well. There are parasites out there. We know that. <laughs> uh, but we just don't give them any attention, right? Um, John Paul says, hi, Brooklyn Medics says, I've been uploading one to two videos every day to drive everyone nuts. That is awesome. That's going to keep your channel going, buddy. Absolutely. I have an investigation coming up uh, in the 31st of the month. Awesome. So yeah, October 31st, right, Derek, you're going to, is that the cemetery you're going to be doing that's close to your house? Um, yeah, cemeteries are the best place to be, guys, on October 31st. Yes, that's when all the ghosts and goblins come out, <laughs> right? So that will be good. Yes, yes, that would be good. Uh, Brooklyn says, hi, John, 14 in the building, 14 in the building, everybody. Are you guys all connected with each other? Um, yes. Paranormal community. Oh my gosh. There are so many of them out there, guys. So, 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 so many of them. And, uh, I don't know if any of you guys support any of the paranormal channels or if you're not, everybody's into that guys. Not everybody believes in ghosts and goblin, goblins and the lock glass lock nest monster and, Bigfoot. A lot of people, it's like seeing is believing, right? Uh, yes, that same cemetery, St. John's Anglican Cemetery. It is 1700, 1800 cemetery. Yeah, I've been to that one. Yeah. When me, Chris, and Mandy went to uh, Windsor where Derek lives, we went to that cemetery. Oh, my God. Some of the plots in there are so old. I'm surprised they're their tombstones are still there, but the stories will say their name and say if they were in the military or whatever. And I just walked around all by myself. They, those guys did their thing. And I was wandering around reading every single name in there, 
reading what was written on the stones. And there's one that's like nine feet long. As you walk in, it's just a whole great big section, right? Uh, very, very old, old, old cemetery. And um, uh, yeah, you can almost figure out what their story was by reading their tombstones. It's quite, quite interesting. So I basically went off on my own for a while and um, and was reading all the tombstones and stuff. And uh, and then we all were talking in the, the meter thing he had. And I asked the spirits, high spirits, and they came through right away and were talking. And uh, I don't know if it's Chris that's got that up, like Father like Son or Derek, you put it up as well because you were videoing as well. So if you don't have that up, you should put that up. Um, so yeah, that was really, really, uh, interesting. Mm, JG Tarantula says, I'm still here just eating dinner. All right. Yes. You're in the evening. That's right. Yes. What are you eating for dinner? Please everybody go check out JJ Tarantulas. Also our bug community needs help. Our snake fans and snake lovers and little bug lovers and spider lovers also need our support. And, uh, so everybody, could you please, um, 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 Meta, could you drop JJ's tarantulas link for me again, please? Because we get people that come in and then they leave and then more come in. So I want to make sure everybody stays connected. Um, uh, next month I have to go on a personal investigation or paranormal investigation. Awesome. Loss for, I got to watch that. Uh, is it going to be live loss for, or are they just doing the live and you're going to be in it? Or what's the scoop on that? Hi, Clarissa. Hey guys, I'm going through depression, PTSD, and emotional issues. Yes. Um, Clarissa, thank you for coming in. Welcome in, sweetheart. Um, what do you try to do? Clarissa, do you have a routine that you try to follow every day that helps? Does music help or taking a walk or talking to somebody? Would you like to share with us, Clarissa, what you try to do to uh, deal with your PTSD and your depression? Hi, Clarissa. We are here for you. Yes, we are. Uh, plus, I will be adding true crime and uns unsolved murders to my channel as well. Still going to do plus super natural unexplained mysteries. Yes, you're all G. Uh, yeah, Derek, that's a good one. There's so many people, as you know, eh, buddy, in Ontario. Oh, God, the people that are missing, no sight or sound of them. Medic just put JJ. Thank you, Medic. I appreciate that. Uh, no, I won't do a live. I'm recording it, and I will edit and drop the video. Okay, good. Please message me and let me know when you've done that and it's dropped. Okay, people need to remind me. Hi, Trillin. How you doing? How you doing, girlfriend? Trillin's in the building. How are you doing? Um... Hold on a sec, guys. Sorry, guys, just returning a message to my daughter. Um, <clears throat> Hannah, if you're listening, you are good. You are good, Hannah. You are fine. It is all good. Listen to Maja. Uh, it's all good. Let's see Hannah in the chat. Uh, yes, Hannah, you, you have to chat in the chat because I got to change something, sweetie. It's all good. Where's my Hannah? Where's everybody say, it. where's my Hannah? Where's my Hannah? Hannah, 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 where's my Hannah? There's Hannah's in the building, everybody. Everybody. Hello, Hannah. Welcome back. You are a good girlfriend. Trust me, you are good. There she is. There she is. Okay, Hannah, I got to fix you up now here. I'm trying to do one at a time. Okay. All right. Say something in the chat, Hannah. Write something in the chat. Um... There, Brooklyn says, where's my Hannah? I am working on an unsolved murder in London, Ontario from 1956 where a five-year-old girl was kidnapped, murdered, and the person that did it was never caught. Wow, that's creepy. Hannah, write something in the chat, please. Um, good to see you, Hannah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Love that tune. Um, that's awesome, Derek. That's wonderful. Get going, buddy. Get going. It's going to keep your brain busy. It's going to keep your mind off things or negative things and, you know, do your passion. Do you, people. Do you, right? Mm-hmm. So, yes, do you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Hannah, what are you doing for dinner tonight? Do you know what your menu is? What is Hannah having for supper tonight? I don't know what we're doing for dinner. 
maybe French toast. I don't know. Like my taste buds have been all over the freaking map lately, people. I don't know what to eat anymore. It's like last night it was Mary Brown's. I went and got chicken and fries and a coleslaw. And uh, tonight, I don't know what it's going to be. Like, I don't. There you go. How's your day going? My day is going good. Feel a little like a headache coming on. But other than that, my day is going good. Derek says, uh, my problem is my brain never shuts down. Yes. Um, yeah, you got ADHD probably, Derek, or some slight bit of it. But you can you can get something for that, buddy. I'm on anxiety pills. I take one a day. It's just a little tiny, tiny, tiny thing. I have to take it because... Um, you know, and I'm not a pill person, but, you know, sometimes you got to take stuff. I mean, it's worth it to be calmer instead of uh, feeling all that anxiety and being a reactor, right? So, um, yeah, your brain needs to slow down. Slow down on the coffee. Don't drink too much. I've slacked back. I don't eat, I don't drink five a day anymore. I've only had two so far today. That's bad for you too. That can ooh, get our adrenaline growing, right? So try to drink orange juice, apple juice, water, lots of water, buddy. Um, cause I know sometimes you're on a lot of late lives and you're drinking one coffee after the other and it can give you a gut rot, right? So yeah, try to change it up and drink a nice orange juice, apple juice, take your vitamin D in the winter. It's very important. Guys got to start taking care of themselves too, right? Derek, cool. Uh, should start smoking pot. I should start smoking pot again. Yeah. But be careful with that as well too, because sometimes if you take too much of that, depending who you are and, um, uh, you know, it kind of, you're not thinking straight. We all know that it just calms you down too, too much. Sometimes you be, need to be alert in certain things. Uh, yes, absolutely. Trillion, tri trillion, but each, each their own, whatever works, right? Some people that doesn't work, uh, meditation and art, but yes, it does for many, many people. Yep. Bring your artistic side out. Hi, Maja. Wishing you and everyone a good day. Go easy on yourselves. Yes. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Hello and welcome. How's Terry doing today? Brooklyn says, Derek, I'm the same way. Yep. We all are. We all get in a frenzy, guys. We just, um, you know, we hear something <clears throat> or, or see something and it just sends our brains. Whoa. You know what I mean? Uh, Hannah says, hi, Terry. Terry says, I got roofers here. No worries. Terry says, hi, Hannah. Trillian says, you got uh, yes, pot is helpful. Yep. Brooklyn Chick says, uh, Terry was lurking on your live yesterday. The lost says, I eat the gummy smoke rarely. Yeah, my daughter's the same way. A lot of people are. People don't like the smell of pot or whatever. You each their own, guys. Whatever works. Uh, they help you sleep. They relax you. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? And they're actually more natural than whatever. But hey, to each your own. Whatever works for you guys. Nobody judge somebody because they take gummies or they smoke the occasional green stuff or whatever works, you know, if that person's going to smoke a, uh, uh, smoke something, uh, to calm themselves down or whatever it is and it works and that's okay for them. It works for them. It may not be for you, but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Right. Uh, Terry gave you a thumbs up. Uh, Terry's going LOL. Hello, Brooklyn. Bud says exactly. Uh, I smoke pot every day. Um, Hey, Lori from Terry, whatever works for you guys, nobody has a right to judge somebody. Cause like, like I said, I take an anxiety pill. I don't want to be judged for that. Why should I be? I mean, I have anxiety. I went to the doctors. I took care of it. They kept doing blood work and we do a follow-up. We talk before this is done, uh, you know, my, uh, and that's just the way it is. And they said, well, here's a su suggestion for you. Um, and so I take this little white pill once a day, uh, and that's it. And it actually helps me anxiety. It really, really does. Um, and then I'm on my metformin, of course, for my, um, my diabetes type two. And I'm, I was also given an anxiety slash sleeping pill for at night because, um, I just wasn't sleeping. I seriously up every two hours, up every busy brain. Right. And when I need to, I will take them. They last me forever because I don't take them every night, but if I find I can't sleep, then I, then I take it, but it also has the anxiety kicked into it as well. So when I wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? So, but I only take them when I need them. I'm not a pill popper. I'm not like, Oh, you know what I mean? I've never been, and I never will be. I don't have an addictive personality to anything other than cigarettes. I've been like that all my life. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Bud says, I smoke pot every day. Uh, Brooklyn says, Ch Terry, Hannah says, that's true, Maja. Yep. Whatever works guys, whatever works for you. Uh, Ivy says, hello, Clarissa. Ivy says, hello, Terry. So Clarissa, are you on anything? Or maybe I shouldn't ask that, but I don't know how much information you want to give, but I mean, are you talking to a doctor, sweetie, about, you know, the things that you're, you're having to, you know, try to cope with every day? Uh, Ivy says, hello, Trillian. Welcome to the 16 in the building. Please give me a thumbs up. I'm almost to 55 thumbs up. Uh, Terry says, uh, 
druggy, just kidding. You know, and whatever works. Like some people, I believe, do have an addictive personality and some don't just because of uh, I've witnessed and seen in the past with certain people. Um, you either have the addiction or you don't, right? So you keep drinking it or you keep pulling it or you keep coking it or you keep whatever it is you're doing, right? Um, and we do know some addictions are harder to quit than others, right? Um, and then when you can come out of that, whatever that issue is that you have, when you come out on the other side and stand back and take a look and you go, whoa, did I really do that? Ooh, did I really say that? Oh my goodness, that wasn't me, right? That wasn't a real you. Uh, we all know that uh, drugs and alcohol are cunning and baffling and it can change our per personalities. It can change our mindset, make us do and say things we don't want to do, uh, or get in a car drunk or high, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have this revelation happen to us and we stand back and we, we go, we go, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then you find out who the real you are and you start to embrace and love the real you. Who are you? Look at yourself in the mirror, right? Um, yeah, we all got our flaws and we all got our issues and uh, I get it. We're all human. I, I'm human. Trust you me. Um, and, um, so these kinds of chats, I think are really good for helping one another, for talking about things that irritate us, things that upset us. PTSD, things that makes us anxious, very anxious. The heart starts, the, the heart starts beating really fast, right? So um, whatever works for one person might not work for another person. And some meds that can only go as high as so many milligrams as well, right? Um, so whatever works for you, just make sure you're being checked by a doctor. Make sure you're talking about this stuff and say, listen, I'm, I'm feeling off and it's been going on a long time or I'm just feeling not myself. Make sure you're telling your doctor this, but make sure you're having blood work done. And so blood work can tell them so much about you. Your thyroid, something can be off balance, which we know is faulty and guilty of part of our depression. Uh, your thyroid plays a role in that. With men, there's other different things. So make sure you men are also getting yourself checked. You know, like just them checking your ears and your heart to me is not a checkup. Anybody that says, oh, I had a full checkup, I'll say, well, what would they do? Did they give you a bare anemone checkup? Did they check all your organs? Did they check your red and white blood cells? Did they check your thyroid? If they didn't, that's not a full checkup. That's not a full checkup. Just listening to your heart, checking your ears, and asking you verbally how you're doing, to me, is not a full checkup. So the insides have to be checked, people. You got to you gotta keep that in check because it could be something lurking you're not aware of. You don't have symptoms yet, and then it's too late. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. Mm-hmm. Just my thoughts on it, guys. You know what I mean? So do those checkups, people, every six months. Make sure you're checking in with your doctor because too many people didn't and they, it was an awful outcome because they didn't go reach out for help, right? Uh, I checked this morning. I looked in the mirror and I'm definitely me. <laughs> well, I know it's me too, medic. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God, Medic, you kill me. <laughs> oh my God, it's funny. Laughter is the best medicine. You know that song, right, guys? Rod Stewart. Always something there to remind me. Da -da -da -da. I just thought of that right away when he said that, right? Always something there to remind us, folks, right? Yep, yep, yep. That is hilarious. Oh, my God. That's too funny. Um, yeah, it's a good topic, guys. Nobody's exempt from PTSD or anxiety. Medic is a real medic in real life. I know I know a person that used to be a fighter fighter, and the stuff that these people have to endure every day. UK Medic almost got killed uh, five or six days ago. Uh, somebody was having a reaction, and um, he was leaning on his car, and it happened, and this guy came right at him, and he moved. Thank God. Um, and it was weird because he normally parks in a different spot, but that day he chose a, a different spot, spot to park in. Thank God he might not be here today. So, um, we definitely have our guardian angels watching over us and sometimes our tuition's kicking in and we don't understand it at the time because he questioned it after and said, I normally park here, but that day I want to park over there. And thank God he did. He might not be here. So go watch that vid, guys. Uh, UK Medic had a body cam on when it happened. Please go watch that and leave a thumbs up and a comment. Um, so, yeah, we always have these um, little things, you know, whether it's a little birdie or something on our shoulder or 
uh, something we could be watching that gives us a red flag or a message uh, there to see, right? So uh, Terry put a heart in for Ivy. Um, so yes, you know, my chat just went quiet. You guys all still with me? Uh, what's your plans for later, Maja? Um, and Hannah, I'm going to take Maggie and Jake out for their walk. I've already scrubbed the floors this morning. Um, I'm not sure what else is planned. going to figure out what's ha what's happening for dinner. Make sure I have all my baking stuff here because I'll do a live tomorrow on uh, peanut butter balls, coconut balls. I'll do a live on that tomorrow. So I won't be able to stare at the chat 24-7, but I will be doing some baking in the kitchen if you guys want to join me. And then I'll show you the end results. And uh, yes, that's pretty well what my plans. What's yours, Hannah? What are your plans for later? What do you you know what's on the dinner dinner menu? Uh, it's like when I got stopped by the cops and he said to me, Can you identify yourself, please? I looked in the rear view mirror and said, Yes, it's definitely me. <laughs> And that's a good answer to give a cop, guys. They'd probably think it was sarcastic, but I'm pretty sure all the cops in your town, medic, know you. They know who you are just from your work jacket. And <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yep, it's definitely me. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just it's been a good topic today, guys. And I know a lot of people are touchy. They don't want to say too much of what they're going through or explain it or whatever, but you're not alone, folks. Seriously, no, none of us are exempt from sadness. And he said, are you the driver of this car? I said, well, it's an automatic, but I have to be here. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I have class tonight and I have my finals tomorrow. Oh my goodness, Hannah. That's awesome. Are you ready? I'm going to plug the laptop in. You guys, are you ready for your finals, Hannah? Are you ready? For your finals, are you ready? That's awesome. And then you're done officially. How long are you till you're done school? Hannah, another month, another couple of weeks. <clears throat> oh, oh, pardon me, guys. My chat went quiet. Did everybody go to sleep? Where is everybody? Hello. Uh, lucky 13 people in the building. Mm. Um, Bud says, LOL. Yeah, maybe I should start singing. <laughs> I'm here. All right, Bud. <laughs> yeah, everybody went quiet. I guess they're just listening to me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So um, did we end up getting true... Less talk, slink drop, guys. Um, want to make sure everybody's connected to everybody, right? I gotta clean my laptop, people. You should see my keys, they're so dusty. Oh my goodness gracious. Very, very, very dusty. Um, I'm still here just thinking of a topic for my stream. Okay, let's help Batman out with a topic for his stream. Uh, Batman, when people are writing in your chat, buddy, try to watch what they're writing, okay? Like, keep, pay attention to your, your chat, okay, buddy? That's a little food for thought. Because um, I was chatting away with you yesterday, and you were trying to think of a topic or let us know that you might end it, but I was asking you some questions, right? It's to help you keep the chat going, right? Uh, let me see. Let's think of a topic, guys, Batman can talk about. How about you talk about your favorite foods, what your favorite, absolute favorite hobbies are, and why you got into those hobbies? You know, whether it's... Uh, you know, whatever it is you're into, right? Uh, why you have a favorite food. Is it because your mom made it and it brings you back good memories? Uh, I'm here. Thank you, Tarantulas. Thank you. Um, everybody, make sure you check out Tarantulas channel, please. Let's help them grow. Uh, he checked my car out and said, you have a defective rear light. So I kicked it and it came back on. He said, go kick your windshield because your road fund license is out of date. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bud says, oh yeah. Uh, um, Savage says, I could do it. Yep. Yep. You could talk about your favorite foods. Are they memories for you, Savage? Maybe your mom or your grandmother made it one of your favorite foods and they're not around anymore. And, and when you see or have that food, you think of them. Whenever I eat chicken and dumplings, I think of my grandmother. Um, whenever I have a burger, I like tomatoes on mine. My mother didn't or on a sub. So I'll think of my mom, especially when I'm having a cup of tea. Every time I make my tea, it's clockwork. 
I think of my mother because my mother absolutely loved tea. Uh, and not too many of my sisters drink tea. I was pretty well the only one other than another one. Um, my kids don't drink tea. Um, so I always think of my mom. So I have these certain memories when I bake or make certain foods or eat soup and certain foods. So you could talk about that, Savage Batman. You could talk about maybe, um, I'm not sure your personal life. You can talk about things that are special to you of how you were brought up. Maybe something your dad taught you or your mom or a grandma or an older sibling. Uh, there's many things you could talk about to let us get to know you. You don't have to get too personal. Um, but yeah, the sky's the limit. Uh, how many sisters do you have? Yes. How many sisters do you have? Who are your siblings? You don't have to say their names, but you can talk about your siblings and how much older or younger you are than them. And just give people like a little introduction of who Savage Batman is, right? Because uh, I do know you also have a shy side to you as well. So um, you could do that. And then we'll comment in the chat. Pay attention to your chat, what people are writing. And uh, we will be commenting about it back and being there with you and for you. And um, mm -hmm. there are some suggestions. Um, the oldest, uh, the three, one regular and two stepsisters. Cool. Yes, I've got stepbrothers and sisters. Two brothers, two sisters. There's nine of us in total in my family. So, yep, one's gone now. My younger one's uh, died in 1992. Uh, wait, June, July, August, October, February. Nine, she died. Yeah, because I think my daughter was only under a year. Um, good ideas. Yes, yes, absolutely. Talk about food. Talk about upbringing. Talk about uh, what kind of things have you implement, Im implemented in your life now that were taught to you by your parents or your whoever raised you. You know what I mean? Was your grandpa and grandma in your life? What did they teach you? What did you love about them? My grandmother was an amazing cook. Every Sunday we went there for dinner and we had chicken and dumplings and always puddings and She'd make tapioca pudding because she liked it. None of us liked it. We'd say, Granny, why do you keep making tapioca pudding? It's disgusting. We don't eat it. You know, and she liked carnation milk in her coffee or cereal. No, we don't eat that. My mom never put that in our cereal. I don't even like the smell of it. Ugh. I don't like carnation. I don't mind cooking with it, which none of my recipes call for that. But carnation milk, I do not like it. But that was something Granny did. My Granny would always reminds you when I see it at the store, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm oldest out of my brother and my family. Awesome. Yes. Hannah is the oldest. Uh, I have 35 brothers and sisters. I'm the last born. Brooklyn is the baby of the family. Yes, she is. I, the freaking, my wife has schizophrenia and it's hard at times to deal with. I, the freaking, how are you doing? Um, yes, it can be. Um, there's different stages of, of schizophrenia, but I know in Canada, I'm sure obviously in the United States, there are uh, very good meds to uh, help in some way with that. Um, and they are doing research and trying to get better at understanding the brain because schizophrenia has to do with our brain, guys. Actually, everything we do and say and how we feel and our emotions all has to do with our brain and sometimes our thyroid. And uh, the brain is connected with everything, people. So there are different levels of schizophrenia and it can be very difficult. Absolutely, the freaking. What do you do to cope the freaking? Do you have a support system? Like, is your family there to, you know, give you that little break when you need it or whatever? Uh, Hannah says, hey, freaking. The freaking says, hey, Hannah. Hannah says, are you oldest or last born, Maja? Uh, I am one to the third youngest of nine. So my dad had two sons and two daughters and then remarried my mom. And then there's my two sisters ahead of me that are older that are still living. Then there's me. Then there was my younger sister who died. And then my youngest brother. And he's still living. So I'm the third youngest. Well, second now because my sister's passed, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, and I was supposed to be born in May. And I came early in March, March 11th. So, um, yeah, I have a big family. But we're all spread out. I got, you know, family in BC. I had a nephew in Calgary. Like, the family's totally spread out. The majority of them are in my hometown. Um, so, yeah. And then my other brother's not too far from me. He's about not even an hour. Two of my brothers are, are like about an hour from me. So we're all roughly in the area of each other, right? So, uh, yeah. And um, my mom, she was from a big family. She had a twin sister. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My mother was from a family at seven. Hold on. 
mom. Six. My mom was from a family of six. And my mother was a twin, and her mom was a twin, and her her mom, mom, mom was a twin. Uh, yeah, and then they all had sets of twins, three and four sets of twins. Yep, and then I had twins, but I lost them at seven months pregnant. I had two boys. Um, so, yeah, and my dad's side comes from Germany, Perusa, Germany, and then they, they, you know, when the American Revolution started, you know how things were back in the 1900s and 1930s, and then, um, you know, they slowly went to Denmark, and then a lot of our American families, because we're all pretty well united, came to Canada, and back in the day, you could, they give, the government would give you free land, as long as you want to live on it and have animals and whatever, and that's what my ancestors did, um, and, um, a lot of them came into Canada and a lot of them are still in the States, uh, all over the States. I got cousins all over the, the world. It's, yeah. So I'm Scottish, Irish, German, and French. My mom's father was pure French, like as French as they come. They're real Quebec French. Um, and he could speak English, but his French was way, way better. So he was still able to speak to my mom and the kids, but he never uh, taught it to them. Like I used to say, mom, why weren't you taught French? Well, it wasn't a thing back then. You know, if your husband was French and you were English, it was usually English that ruled, right? So uh, I got my stream scheduled. Awesome. Big, big family. Yes. Uh, Terry says, bah, back did a live stream last night with the EMF detector and it was going off. Wow, Terry, that's awesome. Uh, you got lots of older brothers and sisters in your family, Brookie. Uh, Brooklyn says, Maj, I have 35 brothers and sisters. I can't keep up with them. Yes. And all their kids. You should really try to get a group photo. Everybody together in one spot, get a group photo of all the adults and then all the kids. Oh, my God. It's good to know your ancestors, people, because I wish I would have asked my grandmother more questions. I wouldn't have had to spend five years doing uh, genealogy, trying to find out both sides of the family, right? Uh, my grandmother's family were very, very wealthy from Ireland. Uh, famous, famous family for making the fiddles, and they're still going strong today. Still going strong today. And uh, so here's my dad. He's like five or six, same age as my brother. My brother picked up the gift. And uh, my granny traded uh, a fellow down the road. She gave him a chicken and he gave her a guitar because she was determined to get her son, which is my dad, a guitar. So Christmas morning, um, he got his guitar. And from then on, he started playing. So I was brought up in the music business. Uh, my mother also sang, play, played the snare. Uh, my brother's very gifted. He's got his own band right now. And, um, so, but me, I always, I was always interested in piano because when I was a kid, I used to listen to Elton John play the piano and Liberace and you know what I mean? So we all have our talents for a reason. But when I found out the wealthy family that was in my family who made fiddles and became famous and still going strong today, um, wow. I'm like, okay, that explains it. That's where the music starts from in the family, right? So, yeah, it's interesting to find out your genealogy, guys, and your background. I'm a quarter French. Yep. Uh, I always thought you weren't last born Brookie in your family. Terry says Brooklyn, LOL. Um, yeah, that's a big family, Brookie. That is a big family. Absolutely. And it's hard when people live all over the world or two or three hours from you. So it's very difficult to try to get together, right? Um, and then sometimes I find the older ones sometimes forget about the younger ones, right? Cause they're just so busy with their own lives or they're set in their ways or they've moved or their, uh, the ways of living is different, whatever it is, whatever it is, but find out your genealogy. If you, your parents are still living or your grandparents, ask them as many questions as you can keep a journal, ask them where they came from. Where did their parents come from? It'll save you a lot of time. Like me, I had to go on genealogy and I met cousins from all over the world that were related to me. Oh my God. You have no idea. Um, Hannah says, uh, sorry, uh, Brooklyn says, Hannah, my little brother is, is the last born from the boys. He lives in Miami, Florida in, in the, in the girls. I'm the last born. Yep. Terry says I was adopted, but I found my family. That is awesome. Hannah says my mom is youngest out of her family. She got two oldest brothers. Yeah. Uh, my mother and her twin sister were the youngest of the girls. There was three girls. Um, so there's the older sister and then my mom and my aunt, right? And then the rest was, were all boys. So my mother was a twin. Oh, pardon me. Uh, that made sense, Brookie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And my cousins actually look, we look alike. Like our cousins, like my brother looks very much like my other aunt's son, right? Yep. Uh, Maja, my father literally told me 
there was no TV. I said, wow. Yep. Back in the day, there wasn't Brookie. Um, when the TV and the, and the, and the cars first started coming in and into the world, um, you pretty well made a statement. If you owned one that you were wealthy because a brand new model T four was about a thousand or 2000. Don't quote me. My grandmother owned one when they first came out the first model T four to have a picture of her, with the car and some of the siblings of my grandmother and the cows in the background. One of them in the background was named Bessie. My grandmother named all, they always named their farm animals and she always talked about her favorite cow, Bessie. And she's in the picture. So um, yeah, you were considered wealthy. So that told me my family was okay back then. If you could afford a Model T, these pictures guys can tell you a story. They can tell you what your family was like. Were they struggling? Were they whatever, right? So she had the first Model T Ford and, uh, yeah, there she was driving around and, um, you know, my dad was younger out of his family. He had two older sisters. Cool. So classic. Yep. Model T Ford was one of the first ones that came out. So, um, so when I seen this picture, even the clothing that they were wearing too, can give you an identity of, uh, the times back then. Right. So, but, uh, also back in the day, a lot of, a lot of women married young, 16, 15 years old and a lot of men are always sometimes a little bit older. They take on a younger person. I had one. Um, uh, let me see now. One, two, three, great, 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 great uncle that married like three times, four times. And I was seeing this pattern a lot. I'm like, why are they marrying so much? But listen, the women died when they were given birth. You know, they're young. And then this poor guy's got three or four or five kids. First thing he's going to do is look for a mate. So he remarries and she dies from the same thing or from a health element, something minor that we would survive today. And then he's on wife number three. You know what I mean? So, and then the third one he married, she died at age 38 um, from, was it childbirth or a health ailment? I can't remember. But this is why back then you would see a man marrying two and three times. It wasn't always because... He left her. It's because she lost her life during something, right? Yeah, it really made me appreciate my adopt adoptive parents. That is right. It does. Um, I was only one that was born in 1998. My three brothers were born in 2001 and 2008. Cool. Wowza. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we all, got, you know, when you have siblings, you you look at each other and, and and I am so much like my grandmother, my father's side, right? For personality and looks. Um, but the, and both my parents were at, at, like enormous animal lovers. They would bring anything home to save it. Enormous. And I have that same trait and so do my kids. Like if my daughter could, she would bring every homeless animal home. Honest to God, she would. We have to go. No, 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 no. You can't be doing this, right? <laughs> so, you know. Uh, Hannah, my two sons was born both in 2001. Awesome. Hannah says, that's nice, Berkey. Um, And things have changed, too, in childbirth birth compared to back in the day. Um, when I lost my twin sons, um, it wasn't a thing for them to take pictures of your kids unless you thought of it yourself and brought your own camera in. And it certainly wasn't thought of back then. It's the only regret I have, right? Um, so whereas now you can have pictures taken, they'll clean them up, dress them, make them real cute. You can take, you can Photoshop them after and have them where they're in your arms or whatever. Like there's some amazing things they can do now that they couldn't do back in the eighties. So, mm -hmm. Uh, I have to say you were born before me, Brookie. I was 1998. Yep. Savage Batman says, I'm happy I got my stream scheduled already uh, to 3 p.m. Eastern. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Brooklyn says, it's impossible to have to have kids in one year is what I'm saying, but it happened. Two boys born in the same year. Yeah. my my. Uh, I know of somebody that had a son, and when he was three months old, she got pregnant again for the second one. That's how close they were. Yep. So here she was, her newborn was three months old and she got pregnant for the second one, the second son. Yep. Uh, the freaking says, sorry, popped off for a few minutes. No support system. My wife just went through some psychosis meds, failed. She has issues of her experiencing stuff, 
but it never happened. It's very scary at times. Yes. Uh, they go into like a make, make believe freaking. Yes. They go into a make, make believe, um, their brain is sort of telling them that something or this is going on and it really isn't right. It kind of takes them on a reality. Uh, scientists are really studying very hard, trying to find this, trying to figure out what part of this brain that this is happening in and why it's happening. So let's hope they find um, uh, some answers for this dreadful, dreadful thing that can take people over. Right. Uh, Bro Brooklyn, not too bad. Uh, two sons born in the same year. Yep. Um, it's a, it's a real thing and you gotta know the symptoms because, you know, somebody's out in public and they're having a schizophrenic reaction. You gotta know what you're, which, what to do, how to help them. Right. It's very important. Knowledge is power. People knowledge is power. Uh, it's too bad. You don't have support freaking like friends or where you can just go take a break or a nurse comes in and sits with them. Uh, Canada's got wonderful organizations here to, uh, support and help and stuff. And I can't believe a lot of these communities in the States don't like, why don't you have food banks? Why aren't you helping out your homeless? Why aren't you allowing them in the park? Like, I just don't understand that. I, I don't, I don't get it. A lot of communities just don't give a shit. Right. So, um, yeah, it's a real deal, man. Uh, my wife used to drive to Walmart and shop, come home and all of a sudden back to herself and not remembering leaving the house. Yep, that happens. Yep. Why was I there? Take a walk and they don't understand. Uh, there was two different incidents last year or the year before. Uh, I think one of them was right here in my city. Uh, husband and wife and she had dementia and she, the worker, her worker was there and went to the washroom and came back and this lady was gone. And we're talking, it's cold weather. She's left in a sweater. So now they're on panic mode, right? They can't find her anywhere. They got search dogs. They're checking and she, they can't find her. And it's snowing out. And somebody had cams. A lot of people here have vid cams on their house. And one of them caught her going by, walking by. So they knew she went in that direction. But the sometimes they don't realize they've left the house. They don't realize it's cold. Anyways, they found her a year later dead. Yep. And this happens a lot. Lots of people with... Um, you know, dementia, and they don't realize what they're doing. Oh, how did I get to Walmart? I don't even remember driving here. Anyways, they did find her. She was dead. Yeah, and, and actually, they found her in an area where they said they checked, which is really weird. So, and this happens a lot. They just go out the door and walking, and they're gone. Um, I'm about to get ready for my stream. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be ending this uh, Savage Batman in four minutes. Four minutes, I'll end this at 3 o'clock, guys. Um, and everybody please head over to Savage Batman's and show him support. He's going to do a live. He's going to try to keep a, a topic going guys. If you could help him out, feel free to ask him questions in the chat. And if he doesn't want to answer you, he won't, but, uh, um, yeah, let's, let's learn about Savage Batman. Let's keep his chat going. Hello, freaking good to see you. Hello, Brooklyn. Um, let's try to keep his chat going guys and, uh, show Savage Batman some support. Like I said, ask him some questions. And so I gave you some ideas, Savage, if that will help you, buddy. Um, that would be great. Uh, Savage, I was in your live last night lurking. Gave you a like. Yes, I didn't see you there. But she was there, Savage. She, had, she was in another stream. She couldn't leave it. So she was in there last night. Uh, there's his link. There's Savage Batman's link, guys. He's going live in two minutes. Please go over and show him some support. It would be really, really great. I am going to eat my lunch. I'm going to eat my lunch. Uh, buffalo chicken. Nice. I got a topic for it. Good. Monique says, hey, people, I'm back. All right, Monique. I'm ending this, Monique, in two minutes. We're all going to be heading over to Savage Batman. He's going to do a live, and he's picked a topic. So if all you guys want to come over and support, that would be wonderful. Keep his chat going. You can ask him questions and because he was looking for a topic, what to talk about, right? So we are all giving him some ideas and stuff. Mm -hmm. So welcome back, Monique. Welcome back. I'm just waiting for the two minutes and then I'll end mine. And I got one minute to go now. Monique says, hey, Ivy. So such a great stream. I'll take this minute to thank everybody for coming out and supporting Maja, Mayhem and Miracles. I really appreciate you guys, and uh, remember to go out and support each other, try to watch people's content and stuff, and, uh, you know, be there for them, and I'm very grateful for my community. I have a great, strong community here, 
And uh, it, it's very, very appreciated. It really, really is. And if I don't get to your messages, uh, like, just be patient. I'm trying to get used to going back. Somebody's commented after a live. I'll go back and uh, and uh, message you back and thank you for coming out and supporting me. Of course. Yes, I'm going to head out so I can get ready. All right, Savage, we'll see you over there, buddy. Go get, go get it ready. Monique says, uh, you're the best, Maja. Thank you, Monique. You are too, Monique. You are too, Savage Batman. You are too, Ivy. You are too, Brooklyn. You are too, everybody. Everybody, bud. Everybody comes out and supports me and you all support each other. You guys are what make you fabulous. That's how it rolls, right? So, you know, so I'm going to say bye to everybody. We're at the three mark. And um, much love, everybody. Take care and see you all at Savage Batman's. And remember, always be humble and kind. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.